So, as with every game, I try to give my thoughts before we uh, before we start and before we finish. So, or not before we finish, as we finish. I want to give uh, a little, like, you know, history with the game and after we finish it, my thoughts on the game uh, itself. So I have my thoughts on the OG RE1. We did that yesterday. So Resident Evil 1 Remake. I played this originally on the GameCube back when it came out. It was one of the, like, four games I had on the GameCube. It was the reason why I wanted to get one, too. Alongside Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes. Back when nobody knew that the Twin Snakes was going to be god-awful. Um, so I played this, you know, back in the 4 by 3 ratio. And man, was it breathtaking back then. Holy shit. It was so crazy to go from, like, Code Veronica graphics to this. Like, it was... Man, and Code Veronica was a Dreamcast game. Which was also in this this uh generation but man when you compare the two side by side is it a blowout but graphics aside because that's only nice if the game is actually nice itself but this game whoo it, it's it's something else um but yeah that was pretty much my history i played it when it originally came out uh came out i was very much looking forward to it but uh, a little history actually about the game itself, though, which kind of sucks, is so this game was one of the three games that had an exclusive deal with um, Nintendo back around the time it came out. So this, Resident Evil 4, and Resident Evil 0 were all exclusive um, all exclusive games for the Nintendo GameCube. Sadly, what that ended up happening, what that ended up doing was this was this was around the time that Resident Evil started getting uh, reviews, a lot of reviews and magazines with Resident Evil with this, not this one. This one didn't get it, but Resident Evil Zero, which came out seven months after this game and Code Veronica, which came out before this game, were, they all they both got reviews talking about how stale the the, the series feels like it's, it is is going like it's it's not changing enough it's uh more the same it was uh sadly that was pretty common with zero and code veronica so what ended up happening was since this game was exclusive and there was just you know kind of code veronica and zero are not the greatest games in the series like code veronica is crazy long in comparison to the other ones and if well it feels that way and zero can be a slog at times uh, it contributed to low game cells for not only Zero, Code Veronica, but also this game too, which is probably because it was a remake of a game that just came out six years ago. It's not even that old, um, which people, you know, are currently complaining on why remake Last of Us. It's not, it's not even Last of Us 1. It's not even 10 years old, and it still plays amazing and looks amazing. Um, so this game didn't sell that well. Partly due to the negative vibe that was going around RE at the time, and also because it was exclusive on the GameCube. It stayed exclusive on the GameCube. It did not go to any other console until the Xbox 360 and the PS3. But we would see Capcom would take these losses or these hits, and they would turn um they turned that negative aspect and that neg negativity into Resident Evil 4. And that is why Resident Evil 4 is drastically different and completely different from any of the prior games. Because it seemed like people at the time were not happy with it anymore. Um, beside the fact that it was going to almost be like a DMC game as well. But uh, it's, it's kind of sad. Even though this game is hailed as like one of the greatest remakes of a video game of all time and not all, not only that but people use it as the like the pillar of what a remake should be like if we break this game down resident evil remake for the most the core gameplay is the same 
and the core like where you go and what you do is exactly the same but there is the devs said it themselves that they changed like 70 percent of this game over 70 percent of this game and usually when that happens you get a lot of people that complain about oh they changed too much oh it's not it doesn't feel like the original but they found a way to actually change over half of the game and still make it feel like the original game, but better. Like they, like they introduce new rooms. They don't feel like they're just tackled on. They change the, uh, the layout of where weapons are. They introduced like new systems with like self-defense stuff and all kinds of things, new enemy, uh, new enemy type and, and stuff like that. And it doesn't feel unnecessary and it, it fits in perfectly. Like, they did such a good job with this. It's amazing. But uh, before, we, before I gush all about that, let us... Let's start. Yeah, this is on the PlayStation 4 as well. So it, it got, a, like, an HD remake, too. So now it's in 1080p. I think the 360 and the PS... The PS3 versions are 720p. So And I think they're in 30 FPS. So the PlayStation 4 version and the PC version are in 1080p and they're in 60. Resident Evil. Oh god, the original FF10. It looks so dated now, but man, if you compare some it's fun to compare the character models to the remakes though. Are right, we going to play with the old controls? Uh, I like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. I like climbing a mountain. This is actually selecting how hard you want the game to be. I like climbing a mountain fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. I thought the PS4 version was made from the ground up. Uh, They're the same as the GameCube? Uh, yeah, it's the same as the GameCube. It's just enhanced. Like, for instance, it didn't have this. This is the Resident Evil 5, Chris. Resident Evil 5 wasn't out yet. So, they added some things like that. You got BSAA Jill from Resident Evil 5 as well. Uh, who should we play as first, Chris or Jill? We played as Jill first last time. Should we play as Jill first again? And end with, end with Chris again? Let's see... Chris? Should we do Chris this time first? Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna use his, his original costumes, though. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Chris, haven't found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Yo, Martin Stereo. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. Mm -hmm. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, so that's the name of the pilot. The Bravo Team pilot's Kevin. So you got. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. A nightmare. <laughs> Dude, the FMVs look so nice. They cleaned them up so well.
Yeah, she fired her entire clip. Jeez. That's not even hunters or anything else. Enter the survival horror. Yo, good morning, Beef. Happy there Wednesday. There are only three Stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's, Where's Barry? Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Yeah. The lighting in the mansion looks good in, as the Resident Evil Zero train. Dude, the, the like, Resident Evil remake and... Resident Evil Remake and uh, Resident Evil Zero are just insanely gorgeous. So one little change it's already. The ink ribbon, remember in the OG, it was in the hallway. It was in, it was in the hallway. Now it's right here, and you couldn't really see it. But if you interacted with the ink ribbon in the OG game, you'd get an ink ribbon. They put it on the dining table, and now you actually see it. So. Little change already. There are blood stains on the floor. Hope these didn't come from your friends. Oh yeah, and then we also have a we got a 180 turn. That wasn't in the original. We didn't see this until Resident Evil 3. And oh man, is this so nice. Also, this game has uh I don't have it on, but you can use alternative controls in this game. I actually, I don't know how you actually use them, because I've never used them. But uh, we're using tank controls, because that is what I grew up on, and that is what I prefer. Go fast. There we go. Mm, mm. Yeah, no, the lighting and the atmosphere in Resident Evil Remake is like top notch. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Where did they go? You want to take the handgun in, in the original game it said it's uh jill's gun it doesn't say that in the remake actually what what happens if we examine it oh so triangle's the map button so oh circles the inventory button okay 
A star's custom uh, automatic fires nine millimeter parabell rounds. No, it doesn't say it's gels. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet key, a helmet is carved into the lock. So another change immediately is this. This doesn't exist in the OG version at all. Now we got this in the remake. This is part of the new rooms added in. Uh, as we get to a new room, I'll uh, I'll comment on it if whether it's new, but only the new ones, because that'd be that'd get re redundant if I comment on the old ones. But that's a new room. Dun. So you remember in this in the OG version there was a little push um step ladder? It's gone. It's not here anymore. So now you gotta use the uh the box. This box if you wanna get the map. There's a map of Dimensions first floor. Take it. Yes. Oh, speaking of the map. Beautiful thing about the map in this game is that it's color coordinated. So not only does it color coordinate the doors, which are unlocked, you can go in and go out of, but it also lets you know whether you picked up all the items in that area. So you see how the typewriter room is red? It means we didn't get all the, uh, we didn't get all the items. Same in the hallway. And then if the door is gray, it means we haven't checked it. If it's blue, it's open. If it's red, it's locked and we can't open it. So this is another, this is one of the best maps they've ever made up there with like Resident Evil 3's map. But honestly, it's probably better than Resident Evil 3's map because it's so, it's so much more uh, detailed. And right, we're going to push this. Five head map. It's a really good map. And since Resident Evil 3 is like so big of a game, the map in it, you can like zoom in and zoom out and look at certain sections, like because you're going around Raccoon City. So it's it's massive. And then this is one of the new things. So when you came in here originally, you got an ink ribbon, I believe. It was either ink ribbon or ammo, but I think it was an ink ribbon. So now we get the new thing that is self-defense items. So this is brand new to Resident Evil. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when an enemy grabs you from behind. To use, to equip a defense item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defense item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive items, if your defensive item mode is set uh, to manual in the control settings, you press uh, the left bumper to use the defensive item. Yeah, so it doesn't use it automatically in case you don't want to use it. I'm actually going to check that. All right, okay, we got it on auto. Wait, I got it on type. What's the difference? Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't like that. No, no, not at all. Glad I changed it. Dude, that guy took like...
You know what? That sucks because I should have just took the hit. Uh, it's locked. The emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. All right, we can't go in there. I should have just took the hit and ran. Now I wasted like what? Six bullets? No. And he's locked behind the box too. So it's not like, it's not like he's gonna get out. You can't take the hit and no, no hit run. It's not a no hit run. Uh, another new entry to the uh, to the map is up here. Well, one, this bridge right here didn't exist in the OG game, so that means these paintings didn't either. Neither did this right here. You can't make out anything through the darkness and fog. But what also didn't exist was this door. This did not exist in uh, OG Resident Evil. And what else? This did exist though. It's locked. You need uh, an armor key. I don't think you needed an armor key to get in though. All right, where do we want to go? I know where. We want to go downstairs. You have to start over. I'm not starting over. It's not happening. You know why I'm not starting over? Because you were lying about getting bullied by Dan earlier. That's why. It's a corp of your comrade, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belongs to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Victim blaming? The corp of Kenneth. It looks like his throat's been torn out. Mm. So his head's not detached from his body like it was in the OG. So this right here is a brand new room. This didn't exist in the remake either. What also didn't exist was all of this. Like where we're going to go to as well. But yo, let's take a moment. Look at that lighting. Look at those shadows. Look at the, the... You can see the parts of the window. On Chris and on the wall. And Chris's face as he moves gets darker on the left side. Or his right side. Look at the contrast. Ooh, it looks so good. Oh. You know, I have never... I've never seen this guy right here ever get up. It's a corpse. Collapse on, collapse on the floor. Like an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Yeah, I've never seen this guy actually get up. So I guess they took the ammo that was on Kenneth's body and they put it right here instead. Uh, sadly, we cannot grab that. So, ripperonis. This is really low on inventory already. Graphically, this game is superior to the other entries in the game. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Is this the best looking game on the GameCube? Uh, that I don't know about, but... It was definitely a very, very, very pretty game. Like, very pretty. Shit. Ah, fuck. So we don't want to kill zombies for reasons. So what we want to do is we just want to down them because I'm not like Dan and I'm not no super speed runner. Examine an item from the status. I, uh, right from the status screen, select an item and then select examine command. The details of the item will be displayed. Yeah. Since I don't use alternative controls, this hallway is actually really hard without alternative controls. Um, because you can bait the grabs with all alternative controls really easy, but you can't do it on this difficulty. Or on with uh, OG controls. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. So this is kind of like stuff that was taken from... I think it was taken from Resident Evil Code Veronica. 
I don't remember this being in Resident Evil. Ah, oh, fuck. No. Oh, he didn't fall down. Locked from the other side. He unlocked it. Nice. Yeah, I don't think it was, um... I don't remember what RU was from. So, this room, that door right there, doesn't exist in the OG, right? So this is a new door, remember? The only door that exists was this one. There should be two zombies here. I think that corpse has some was someone who was shot rather than died from the virus. Yeah, I don't know. There's not two zombies. It's only one. Uh, so, one of my favorite things about this game was when I was in college. I... I think I tell it every time I play this game. When I was in college, I hope Close is lurking. Uh, Close and my girlfriend at the time were over. And I... I was uh, showing them video games, right? And I showed them this game. It was particularly this game. And I, you know, I've played this game bajillions of times. So I wanted to watch, I wanted to watch them play it. And this is exactly what they were doing when they first played the game. They couldn't figure out how to actually move the character at all. Like, they couldn't wrap their head around tank controls at all. Because it's such a byproduct of the PlayStation 1. They couldn't get it. And it was, for me, I've never actually met anyone before that. I never met anyone who ever had a problem with tank controls. Because everyone who I've met who played these games, you know, had no problem playing it. But, they, you know, they didn't grow up with it or they never experienced it. So they couldn't figure out how to actually move their characters at all. I still remember that because I was laughing my ass off. So, and I bring it up because that's one of the reasons why they added the alternative controls to these games. Because for some people, tank controls just don't make any sense. Um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense to them. Uh... So they added that in, I think, either with the Xbox 360 version or the PlayStation 4 version. I don't really remember which one. But alternative controls was not a feature in the, uh, the OG game. This right here is a brand new area as well. This did not exist in the OG area. Or the OG game. As you can see, I'm saying that a lot. Like, I'm, I'm saying that a lot. Like, there's a lot of areas that are brand new. And that's what makes Resident Evil 1 Remake so interesting. Because you see it, we see it all the time. Where people say stuff like, I hope they don't change too much. And stuff like that. But it, they change so much in this and it works. Like, it, it's a, this is a prime example of that you can do that, and it can work. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Wait, what? It's still freaking weird, weird to me that loading tech has gone full circle? Wait, what do you mean? No loading to eternal loading to preloading back to eternal loading. It's it's gone from disc cartridge to CD disc Blu-ray to cartridge, and today it's all it's uh, it's all way going digital. Yeah, cartridge is only around with Nintendo, isn't it? There's a key embedded on the back uh, the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. You got the mansion key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. 
A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Let's examine the key. There's an engraving on the sword. The sword key. Nice. My inventory sucks though. Yeah, I don't actually know. I, I like loading. Uh oh. Nice. Nice. Oh, dude didn't even move. Hey. All right. Let's go. Yeah, loading, like, loading times now suck because freaking, freaking games are just so ginormous now. Let's see, it's locked. There's an engraving of the helmet key carved into the lock. Mm, even if we go over there, I don't think there's anything that we actually want. If we go upstairs. Uh, we could go through that hallway. And then go downstairs, but I don't think we can get that far. And if we go over here, use the key. Again, I ain't got no inventory, man. Our lack of inventory sucks right now. We'll go this way. Pretty much, yeah, Nintendo did mostly cartridge. They switched to CD-based tech for a while with the GameCube and such. But back, yeah, they're back to cartridges. But yeah, I mean, their games aren't that big. Like, periodically, I go through my... I go through my, like, um, sizes on my Switch sometimes. Man, dude, their games are not that big at all. Like, at all. Their first party games? I don't even think they got a first party game that's 20 gigs big. 20 gigs was like... 20 gigs was like the average size of a beginning PlayStation 4 game. And the ending PS... Uh... PS3, Xbox 360 game. Like most of their most of their games are like below 10 gig. It's crazy. So if you remember when we came down this hallway the first time, dogs came out. They're not here. Looking good, Chris. Looking good. Let's see. You need an old fashioned see, this is what I was thinking. Remember yesterday when I went to I went to the store and I used the key and I was I was shocked? Because in remake you need a lockpick. Or uh, old key. And that green herb that's here in the corner is now gone. A picture of a mansion setting against uh a mansion against the setting sun. It's filled with dirty water. Remove the plug. <laughs> Stop on his head. What are you doing? No, I can't carry any items though. You know what? Sorry, Green Herb. You're gone. Sorry. Later. God, Chris's lack of inventory really sucks. All right, let's use the key over here. You might be able to unlock it using the old key. Use the old key? Yes. Use the old key. Uh. Do we want to go out here? I think we have to. <laughs> now, you remember in the OG game that there were zombies in here on Jill's and then dogs on Chris? There's always dogs no matter what. 
And you remember we had like six... We had like six freaking green herbs in the OG game. And then this was found in the save room. That was found in the save room in the, um, uh, that we're actually going to go to. So they switched it over here to give you a reason to come outside. Because this is actually the only thing outside, the only thing in the room in the OG was the six uh, green herbs. So there's really no reason to even go in this room at all. Unless you just wanted some healing. Dude, the cam the camera is so good. And I think there's actually a knife in here if we go in there and grab it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there it is. We'll grab that. And then we also got an ink ribbon. So in the original game, there was only a shotgun in this room. I didn't even think there was an ink ribbon in this room. Shotgun's still here. But they added a self-defense item. And they also added an ink ribbon, so that's new. Hey, what's up, Vis? Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Do -do -do. And then in the OG version, there was always two zombies in this hallway. Now there's only one. And they mess with this door. So in this door, in the remake, it can actually break, which is really annoying. So the doorknob looks like it, it's ready to fall apart. Go ahead, go through. I think, I don't know how many times you can actually go through this. I, I don't remember. But eventually, the doorknob will break. And then instead of having to, like... Instead of having a cutscene to go up the stairs, we're now they now do what they did in Resident Evil 3, where you can just walk up the stairs on your own. And, and, and surprisingly, they actually got rid of that in, in Code Veronica. So this is the first time it's actually come back since Code Veronica. Why they got rid of that, I have no idea. Yo, good morning, Prince Vegeta. How's it going? And then you remember when I when I commented on in the original Resident Evil 3, or uh, Res Resident Evil, that you can combine items from your inventory into the item box? Bam. We got that feature now. So. Feels good, man. The only thing I don't like is that they took out the color coordination of your items like they had in Resident Evil 3, and I think they had it in 2 as well. They would, on the bar over on the right, you would see, like, green, red, red, blue. They took to let you know, like, where your items and stuff. They took that out for some reason. I guess they did that for realism, but the item box isn't realistic in the first place. <laughs> so... To hell with realism. Dun, 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 dun. There is a lantern lying on top of the supplies. A warm light makes you relax. Can you pick up the note? Special instructions for dispose a disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection. Incineration, destruction of the head. It's, if further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You need something to light it with, which you need to find yourself. Okay, so we got some we got some stuff to talk about with this note. 
So first of all, this note was not in the game, in the OG, because this was not even a mechanic in the OG. So, in this game, we have the introductions of a being called Crimson Heads. Which pretty much is, if you kill a zombie in this game, and you do not destroy its head, a either stomp on its head, or shoot its, explode its head with an RNG shot from the handgun, or the shotgun, they will come back to life over time as a crimson head, and they will basically be like a, a mini hunter. They like, they will be faster, they grow, they grow claws, they're resilient to bullets, they are a nightmare and any zombie can turn into them. So what this basically does is this makes you be cautious about the zombies that you kill. You can't just go around and just down every zombie because if you do, you're going to make the game harder for yourself. So this instills more fear into the player because now, you know, in the you know, when we played the original game yesterday, I was just popping caps in all zombies asses and killing them all and shit. Can't do that no more. You got to be picky. You got to be pick and choosy with who you're killing. And another thing so they introduce two three other things with this note you might have not noticed or you may have noticed incineration so we get a little thing called kerosene and they said they they put oil around the mansion that has a limited use i think you can only fill it up two or three times or use it you fill it up and you can only use it two or three times and then after that you got to go back and get more but that oil isn't unlimited there is a limit to how much you get in each jug. So it's not like it's something that you could just keep doing over and over and over again. And then two, you have to get the lighter to use it. And you remember one of my criticisms about the original game yesterday, or I commented on it, is that the lighter really only has two uses in the game at all. To get the map on the second floor and to light the, to light the, the candle stand in the, the room before Yawn. That's it. That's all you use the lighter for in the OG game. So now they found a way to use one of the least used items and make it one of the most important items. Nice going. The only problem is, since Chris only has six inventory slots, the, the cantina takes up a inventory slot. So if you lug that around by default, you only got five inventory slots. So that sucks. That sucks real bad. Uh, another change is part two, the destruction of the head. In the OG game, if you aimed up with a shotgun on a zombie and you shot up, you 100% destroyed their head. That is, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it's like a, it still can happen, but it's like a 50-50 chance or even less than 50-50. Uh, so the heads don't automatically explode when using the shotgun anymore to the head. So you can't just go around and do that anymore either. So they, they really instilled, uh, fear. You know, this, this makes you be choosy and, and fearful with how you dispose zombies. Um, one other thing is this line. We have, we have new information regarding those beings quotation marks this lets you know that this was not intended that zombies were not intended uh an intended byproduct of the t-virus getting out at all they were not research they don't even know what they are all you know most of the people who live in this mansion are researchers who work on the virus underground they know what they've been working on um and they they don't like zombies are totally they have no idea how to deal with them. They didn't really have too many notes. They had a couple notes in the first game like that, describing, you know, the the unknown factor of zombies, but this one is a little bit more straightforward about it. You know, if I label them beings, they don't even know what to call them. So it, it's kind of cool that they, they mentioned that. Yeah, zombie, and let you know the player that zombies were never an, an intentional byproduct of the T-virus at all. They just happened. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like, you really gotta appreciate the lore and the world building that they put into these OG games. 
These OG games are so rich with lore. And down to items, backgrounds, descriptions. Like it's re they did a really good job. This is the cantina, by the way. Or the jug. I put it away, so we'll we'll go use it real quick. Um, there's still plenty of kerosene left. Refill it. You refilled your fuel canteen. So let's see. You get two uses. So if we down a zombie, we have to use the oil and then we have to use the lighter. But since we don't have the lighter, this is useless to us right now. So we're going to put it up. Uh, I like how in Evil Within they called the, poli the police force Crimson Police. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely did that on purpose. Shit, I'm getting my buttons confused. Yo, what's up, funny MMA? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. Uh, another thing, if you encounter a zombie on the... On the um, stairs, they can never grab you. They can only throw up on you. It's locked. An emblem of armor key is there. Yeah, they can, uh... So, getting a zombie on, a st on stairs is actually a really good idea. Even if they, like, transition, too. So, like, if they're a zombie that normally stands, you can get them on the stairs and they can't grab you still. Alright, let's grab this. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. And I'm glad to hear that you're doing alright. They become, they come back like a Super Saiyan. They do. They do. And then look how rich the walls are. You remember that wall? Remember what I said in Resident Evil 1? Like how bare this wall looked? Look at it now. It was just an orange wall in the OG game. Look at it now. Look at all that color. Fuck. Like, look at all that shit on the wall you unlocked it so the walls now got wallpaper and they got photos and art and right, we got a wooden mount mm. uh, what's this oh we got the dog whistle Yo, hey, Lee. How's it going? Happy. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the stream. It's an uh, open journal. The pages are blank. Botany, the uses of uh, medical herbs. It is well known. It is well known fact that there uh, there exist many plants that are credited with medicinal or medical healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs that are native of the Arklay Mountains and briefly outline each of their uh, medical qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a, and a distinct medical quantity or quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs results in a magnified effect. We will outline the effect of the red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is only acquired through experiment. Uh, do you not get the... For some reason, I, think, I always think you get the lighter here. I guess you don't get the lighter here. We got the dog whistle. And we got the dog whistle. A crumpled memo. This was not this was not a thing in the original game at all. A crumpled memo. Today Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like a vicious canine that lives there. 
like lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to, he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the dog, the damn dog without seriously, without uh, risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants to hide is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you're, you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your service, I might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. So, this note wasn't in the OG game. Neither was the dog whistle. Stuff made for the remake. Um, let's see. One sec, I'm looking for my beard brush. Ugh, found it. Uh, we could get rid of this, the wooden mount. But I don't have the lighter. There's a pa er, there's paper attached on the inside. Nothing is written on it. Uh, we could go. That would be running the wrist, though. And we could unlock the other doors, but I'm pretty sure... Pretty, I think we'll go back this way. Yeah, we'll run past the zombies. Hey, thanks, Lee, by the way. No! Remember, you can't use self-defense items when grabbed from behind. It's locked. God, all of these are the armor key, jeez. Every last one used the sword key. Nice. Yeah, every last one was the sword key, or the armor key. Now, where else do we have to use this? I think downstairs. In the hallway with uh, the zombie, I think so. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep going over all the differences throughout the playthrough and just just to show you the sheer amount of change that they did for this game. Cause there's just this I you know, there's this idea. Oh no, I think I need a lockpick, don't I? I do. I do need a lockpick. Because there's just this idea that you can't change anything in a game without making it worse, which is totally wrong. Like we as like, video game players need to get away from that. That's not true in the slightest. Yeah, a lot of people like to hang on to that like it's the gospel truth. If it's done correctly, and done with, you know, the intention of making a good game in mind, it can totally be done and totally be better. Uh, we'll put this up. And right, we need this key. Wow, I'm in red caution. Holy crap. Mm. And we got stubs. We got stubs. I think there's a self-defense item right here, I think. There's nothing but cleaning products inside. It smells faintly unpleasant. You might be able to unlock it with an old key. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> so I needed to get the other key. All right, later, Stubbs. Wait, I think there's a guy down there, too. All right, you might be able to unlock it using... There we go. Okay. Bye, Stubbs. Go here. Gotta keep thinking that's the equipment menu. You blew the dog whistle.
Oh, what are we at? Red? Oh, nice. There's green herbs growing here, but there's only enough for a few uses. Use them? Yes. So this whole area doesn't exist. This door in the OG didn't exist at all. Where we got this key, I think we got this key in the, the plant chemical room. A coin was hidden inside the collar. But is it just a coin? It changed into the shape, the shape of a key. <gasps> what is this voodoo? Yeah, look at the graphics. It looks so good. You unlocked it. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Discard it. Yes. Now we gotta go to a place that we've been to before. Stop turning coins in the keys. It's magic. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? Like, I can't help that I'm talented in weird ways. Where the hell do I use this last sword key at? Probably down this hallway. He has to be. Alright. Stubs down here. Hey, Stubs. How you doing? Doing alright? Stubs. Bye, Stubs. No, this door is locked too. No! You used the sword key. There's no further use for the key. Discard it? Yes. Thank God. Uh, okay, it was a, it was a, it was a futile. You can't do this in the OG. Remember, the only way to actually come here was after you got the, um, after you did Plant 42, so they changed that. Now you can come here a lot earlier. A piece of meat from an unidentified source. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, I wonder what it could be. Mmm. My mouth just gets watery just thinking about it. Oh, we got another key. Nice. Oh, we can open up the door to get the shotgun. Yeah, so you remember one of my complaints? Well, not complaint. I don't want to say complaints because that makes it sound like it's a bigger deal than it was. But, uh, yeah, one of the things I talked about was how, you remember when we came down here? We, we faced, you know, a, a giant snake, plant 42, hunters, dogs, multiple zombies. Yet they played that cutscene of a, of a zombie, you know, coming down the steps like it's supposed to be scary. But you've already, you've dealt with so much. The power doesn't seem to be turned on. You've already dealt with so much. Like, what's one zombie, right? So they changed it and they actually made it display a little bit earlier, which is so much better. Ah, shit. Stubs. Stubs. Look, they both look the same. Bye, Stubs. I'll see you another day. Da, da, da. All right, now we just gotta do a hallway guy. And this used to be a door. Remember, there was a door you actually had to go through. They got rid of the door. Now it's just all one big hallway. Let's see, we're gonna go this way. Nice, ran right past them. Sweet. 
sweet. So there is one crimson head in the game that I can remember that is actually set in place. And we're actually we're about to pass him. What's our inventory looking like? You know, luckily we can actually grab this. Look, the guy's gone. The other zombie, he's gone. That guy we came in here. He's not here anymore. Where did he go? Ready to get up to. Mm -mm -mm. So right here. This guy right here. When you run past him, he gets up. And that's like the only... One of the only set crimson heads in the mansion. That you do not kill yourself. May whoever take this emblem find peace and death. Can't carry it. Oh no, I can't carry it. Now I can. May whoever take this emblem find peace and death. What the? Hey, what's going on? What is this? <laughs> so that, so this room didn't exist either in the OG version. Cause this whole puzzle didn't exist. This is brand new. Also, this door right here didn't exist as well. But we can't use it right now because we need the helmet key. So this key is the armor key. Got the armor key. So totally new. This whole thing is totally new. You know, the lack of music in a lot of cases is more creepier than actually creepy music. We're gonna grab this. And we're gonna go here. And we're gonna go back the way we came. Because I don't wanna have anything to do with Mr. Crimson Head. Not at all. All right, so we got the armor key. Let's take a moment to think. So we got the armor key. Where can we go? Oh, we got that, uh, the save room key, uh, the save room we can finally get into, or the, the room in the same hallway as the save room. We can finally get into that one. We could probably get into that red room right there as well. We got that blue jewel, so that room probably as well. The piano room, I think so too. A lot. I already know we can get, we can get in a lot of rooms upstairs. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh, we probably can get outside on the balcony, on the second floor. Oh yeah, we got a lot of rooms. This key can open up a lot of shit. Only thing that sucks is our inventory. So. We're gonna, we're gonna go here. We're gonna got, we're gonna have to go back to the item box. We can't do this just yet because we don't have the, um, we don't have the inventory space. And I don't want to constantly keep using green herbs just to get inventory. Because eventually I'm gonna need them, you know, at some point. Oh wait, is this an army key room right here? It's a helmet key. Ah, yes. Yes. And we go over here. That's an armor key room. We'll come back to that one. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that just at the moment. Also, can we do this real quick?
That's an Armor King one. It sounds like I'm saying Armor King from Tekken. That's an Armor Key one. There we go. Right, let's get the hell out of here. You know, I could, I could probably go down there and do that again. All right. Those rooms are open. Uh, do we want to go this way? Does it even matter? I don't think it matters. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome and good morning, by the way, N2 as well. I don't think I said that to you. Welcome and good morning. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday. I think I totally forgot. How rude of me. Alright, so we got all that stuff. Judgmental bird? What did I do? I didn't do anything. Alright, let's put up the grass. And we're about to use that, so we're gonna get an inventory space. And then we're about to use this too, and this. But we're gonna need this? I think so. I didn't do anything, exactly. What do you mean? I realized I didn't welcome him and, and I was like, look. How rude of me and I welcomed him, okay? Instilling happiness and positivity one person at a time, Lumi. All right, let's use the old key here. Open up that door. Get in. <laughs> you come here, it's like, fuck that depression. Some old furniture. Oh, we got an ink ribbon. I don't want this garbage. I thought, we, I thought it was going to be handgun bullets. I forgot it's Inga Ruben. Alright, let's grab the broken shotgun. Yeah. We can now get the shotgun. Yeah. We can now... I think go here, right? Use the armor key. Damn, dude, the armor key got so many damn rooms it can be used on. Damn, we just got two grenades. go here because we want to get rid of the jewel what do we get oh look at that look at that we got them shotgun shells hell yeah bud hell yeah <laughs> Although, what kind of sucks is our inventory. Uh, I feel like I've left a lot of healing items. I want to save the, sh the grenades, too. Let's see. Let's reload this. We got six. Yeah, unlike the remake, or, or unlike the OG, where you got seven shotgun shells, you get six. Let's see. We're going to use this as well. This armor key opens up a crap ton of doors. Go here. Should open up. Oh no, you don't need the armor key for this door. You used to. Should be a guy in here. Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab this. And then there should be shotgun shells. Uh-oh. Keeper's Diary. Are right, you guys ready for some Hooked on Phonics? May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Ali uh, Alyssa from security and Steve from research. Steve was a big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. 
May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's limbs and pulling out, pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th, 1998. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there, there's been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holidays. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided to not feed them today. Screw them. May 13th, 1998. I went to the infirmary uh, went to the infirmary because my back was all swollen. It feels itchy. They put a big band-aid on it and told me I didn't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. All I need to do is sleep. May 14th, 1998. I found a big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe it is their way of getting back at me not feeding them the last three days. If anyone finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th, 1998. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. May 29, 20, uh, 21st, 1998. Itchy tasty. Scott came, uh, came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four slash slash. Itchy tasty. Itchy tasty. Uh oh. Oh lord! Oh lord! Free. Oh my god, tons of fun. No, tons of fun. Damn it, tons of fun. I didn't want to use that grenade on you, you dick. I gotta come back and grab that key. Shit. Reset? That's not a reset. I didn't get grabbed. I didn't get bit. And there's no resetting. Alright, let's unlock this. Uh, let's see. Go here. I think we gotta use the key on this door too. Chat, it's okay to get bit. This is not a no hit run. This is a lore run. Jesus. This is a slow lore run. Where we're going over lore with a capital L. Okay, don't listen to Lumi. Itchy tasty. This reads like 95% like Aka ha has his. Shut up. Shut up. You're not you're not far from the truth, but shut up. I don't need a reminder. Hush. Alright, let's put the shotgun shells up. Let's put the You know what we're gonna put our handgun up. We're gonna put We're gonna grab what are we gonna grab? That small key? Uh, we're gonna put this up. We're gonna put this up as well. We're gonna go in with nothing but this. Alright, we're defenseless. He's not, I mean, he's not wrong. My skin sucks. It's one of the reasons why I don't use a webcam. 
Outside of just not liking webcams, it's it's one of the reasons why I don't use one. I might, I can't handle the heat that generates over time from using like my body just naturally gets hot when streaming because I think everybody does, you know, because you're constantly talking and your body's not well ventilating itself because you're constantly talking. But um, yeah, I can't take the the my body can't handle sweat at any kind. So I can't work out either. Oh, uh, you know what? I need that key now. Where are we going to even use this? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a door that we... Oh, I know where we use this. That's why I keep telling you to stream in the dark. I am in the dark. I'm in the dark right now. Oh, fuck. No! Well, be ready for fireworks. Okay, I didn't know that was actually going to hit me. No, I needed that. No! Shit. I needed that. Shit. We can leave this key. I think we can leave our gun too. I don't think we need our gun. I'll take the green herb though. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I don't I don't No, I've been seeing a lot of like pro normal normalized streams that don't use webcams. I mean I'm all for that. I don't, I don't need to stream using a webcam. Or, you know, like, I'm all for normalizing, not requiring it. Sure, it might make it easier because people can, you know, look at your emotions and stuff, but it's in no way required. It'll be a harder, longer path, though. The lid on the water pump is open. Pull the wa pump the water? Yes. Which way will you turn, red or green? Do you guys know the difference? Do you guys know the difference between red or green, like what it does? I, I actually don't know. Or if I do, I forgot. It's green, right? I think you gotta do green. Red one, one is, okay. Oh no, one kills the herb. Yeah, one of them kills the herb and the other one kills the, the plant. Never mind, I know what it does. I don't know which one does which though. We're gonna use red. Hey, 50-50 chance. Hey. All right, we didn't get tentacled. All right, before we do that, they took out the red herbs in here. Remember, there used to be red herbs here in the OG game. No longer here anymore. Now we, all we got is green herbs. We're gonna combine this just for inventory space. Alright, let's grab this. So this is a new thing in the in this game as well. The death mask. This didn't exist in OG game. At all. Not at all. Aka already knows the best way to get ahead. He needs to start hot ba bathtub streams. That is the current meta, I mean. We jest, but that is legit the current meta of Twitch is hot tub streams. Sad? Sure. Reality? Yep.
What's next? <laughs> hey, let's go here. Do this. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna grab the hot the broken shotgun. I don't think we need this just yet. We can put the death mask. Can we put the death mask up? Hmm. Uh, I want to use the I want to use the key, but I don't really want to risk getting bit by that zombie in the hallway. And I'm trying to think. Uh, I think we'll have enough inventory space. Next is linking your OnlyFans for feet picks. That's already a thing. That's already a thing. Oh. Nice. It's fine. Well, no, it just as a broadcaster, you know, you want to do a good job, Dad. So sometimes you just feel like you, you need to use a webcam. Because, you know, it, like, if your goal, you know, if you want to do a good job streaming, you know, use every advantage you have. But I just don't like a webcam. I like non-webcams. But, I mean, I, even I admit, there's a large, there's a, you know, there's a large amount of people that want to see the streamer's reaction in their face and all that jazz. And they feel like they can't enjoy a stream without it, but. And the outliers are not really good examples as well. Like, you might say, like, Lyric and Baru and, you know, all the other popular people who don't use one. You know, blah, 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 blah. But most of the time, those people have been streaming for, like, seven years plus. And they've, you know, they're, they're, they're not streaming. They didn't start streaming when it was as saturated. So they got the advantage of time. Or they have the advantage of time. So, but yeah, I just don't like it. So I, I try to use the, I try to use my time, or not my time, but I try to use that power of worrying about how to make my content better on, on, uh, well, yeah, how, how I can make my stuff more enjoyable. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Yo, Dan, thanks so much for the raid, man. Shit, I gotta, I gotta pause. Yo, thanks so much for the raid. I gotta find my, uh, my mouse. Hey, welcome everyone that came along from Dan's stream. How you guys all doing? Hi. Hello. Yo, how was Resident Evil? Dan is also doing a Resident Evil story-thon. As well. If you want to go get a different perspective of Resident Evil stuff. Dan, <laughs> Dan's your man. That scared the shit out of me, dude. What the fuck? I didn't hear him hop over. Yeah, Dan, Dan's your man. He he speed runs these games unlike me. So he has... He has knowledge that I don't have. But hey, I hope you all had a great time over at Dan's. Yo, what's up, cut? Da, 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 da. Okay, so we have no reason to go in there except for kerosene, and we don't even need it. Do, 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 do. Oh no, the zombies! We're gonna go in here. It was good. I did Jill and Chris on the OG, not full story running this time though, but doing a lot of PS1 horror stuff this week. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, if you got them done in one stream, you did that shit fast. It takes me a while to do them. Da, da, da. All right, we got the shotgun. We're gonna use the wooden shotgun. Hey. <laughs> yeah, as you were coming in, we were talking about. 
uh, like feeling the need to use a webcam or not use a webcam. And I'm saying like I don't like using one. Uh, and stuff like that. And chat was asking for my OnlyFans for my feet pics. Use the armor key. Okay, so this room also got changed. So you remember the... Do you remember how the... It used to be a... A puzzle based on... Like a cradle to the grave? No, it's not. No taco picks? <laughs> Maybe I'll make a OnlyFans and whenever I get tacos, I'll just I, I'll take Lumi's idea. Maybe that's what I'll do. Follow me on my OnlyFans. Oh my god. You know what? Fine. Fine. The title is written as follows. Bring the light to the truth. Bring the light of the truth to the three spirits. You run in here? Let's see. All right, so she has a green headband, a purple necklace, and an orange bracelet. Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There is a switch at the bottom of the picture. No, you don't want to do that yet. All right, so a picture of a valiant... Picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. Oh, that's green. You don't want to do that. Okay. okay. Nothing is rich enough to afford a picture of Akka sleeping on tacos. No, that would never happen, dude. I, you, you know how stabby you would... If you get... If you would get hard shells, you know how stabby that would be? Alright, a saint wearing a crown. No, that's not it. Do, 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 do. There we go. And then I think the next one is here. Oh, stepping, not sleeping. Oh, my bad. This has to be purple. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. I see. There we go. Yeah, so they changed this whole puzzle. This is brand new to the, the remake as well. And there we go. And we're done. And we got another death mask, and we're also again back outside in the new area. Again, we got another. It's locked. An old fashioned lock. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. That is not where I thought I was going to use it at, to be honest. Mm mm mm. Okay. I knew he was there. Motherfucker! Get off me! I knew he was there too. It was all an act, guys. It was all an act. It was all an act. Okay? Acting. Well played, thank you. I don't know, I don't know how to... I've never played this game using alternative controls, Dan, ever. So I have no idea how they actually work. Na, 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 na. 
Alright, let's uh, combine the shotgun shells. Combine the handgun bullets. Um, let's do this microphone. Let's do this. Do this here, and then... Uh, what was I? Oh, yeah. Let's, we got so much healing items. Let's um, put them up. Alright, we're gonna put this up. We're gonna put that up. Put that up. That up. That up. Put this down here. Sorry, I had like a brain fart there for a minute. The armor, okay, I think the last use for it is actually upstairs. Oh, and we forgot to go to forest. Now that I think about it, we totally forgot to go to forest. Alright, so we need this for the death mask room. And, but I think we also need this for upstairs. So... We should get another old key upstairs, though, I think. And I'm not really sure about what we want to bring. I'm not sure if we want to bring a gun. We might get away with bringing a shotgun. But then I, I think we get a red herb, a lighter. I, I don't think we're going to have enough inventory space if we have to use the door, the key anywhere else. Do we have to use the key anywhere else? I don't think so. No, we do. We got to use it in Rebecca's room. I didn't, I didn't put it in there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Well, we're just gonna have to poor planning. Do. Well, I'm not the best to talk about mic stuff. I I don't really have much experience. My audio equipment is very complicated. I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Wesker. Yeah, like audio stuff. Oh, come on. Actually, this is okay. Yeah, audio stuff is very vastly complicated. And the one advice I can truly give you is do not cheap out on audio equipment because you get what you pay for. And it's, yeah, it's best to do your research. And also, not only that, um, different, different microphones will sound better on different people, which is something that some people just don't get. Like, uh, like you can just, there can be a microphone that sounds good on someone else, so it just won't sound good on you and vice versa. All right, we got an old key. So that's where you got to do a lot of your research. We got an ink ribbon that I, uh, I totally forgot that was in here. And we got this. I got so many healing items. I think that this is like a combo. I don't think this is a first aid spray, right? So stuff like this didn't exist in the OG game either. Like opening stuff up to get a first aid spray didn't exist. Uh, I don't think we, I think we can get away with not picking up those ink ribbons. We just gotta make a mental note that that's what's in this room. Yeah, the save music in the OG games are, is so nice, all of them. Like, all, it's all good. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, you might be able to unlock it using an old key. Well, Dad, I just told you, I'm not really an expert on audio stuff. Like, you gotta, the best thing you can do is do your own research. Like I said, I just told you, even if it's like a good mic that's done, that is by like, that sounds good on a lot of other people, you have to do your research and stuff and see if that mic is good for you. I can't answer that for you. That's something that you have to do for yourself. Because different microphones are tailored to different voices and you have to, 
you have to figure out what your audio wave frequency is and does it match up with that other microphone like the shore m7b and the i don't know what the other one's called the row 20 they have different wavelengths that are catered to different people so you have to figure out what yours is and see if it matches up with that microphone that's something i i don't you know i don't know your audio wave you have to do that yourself Researchers will. There is a uh, there is a letter. June third, nineteen ninety eight. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. I sat here trying to think of where to begin, but where to begin? Of how to explain in a few simple words all that matters in my uh all that happens in my life since we last spoke and I already fail. I hope this letter finds you, uh, finds you well and that and that you'll figure the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. As even as I write, I can feel the simplest the simplest of concepts slipping away. Lost to the lost the feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you and time is short. So accept uh, these things as facts. Last month, there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying. And the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victim of their humanity for uh, forcing them in their sickness, forcing uh, them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like ma mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I will have entered my internal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. They kept his name. Yeah, that's, that's so sad. Don't have enough inventory space. Shit. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what's up, uh, Zar? How you doing? Alright, so we need to come back and get inventory space, which kind of sucks. Um, you know what? I can't help but feel like I'm missing something. Yeah. Yeah, that's an ink ribbon. That one should be red, too. That one should be red. Wait, 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 wait. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. He had the lighter on him all the time. But I forgot that in Remake, you don't have to find it. It's an OG that you find it. Now I was looking all over for it, and I was on my inventory the whole time. Thanks, Stubbs, for not lunging. Yeah, in the remake, you have to find it. It's in that. It's in uh, the room with the bed. But I forget. In, uh, in OG, you have to find it. In remake, you automatically have it. Shit. Totally forgot. So I could technically carry the kerosene and, you know, shotgun these dudes, and if they don't die, kerosene them. Which would be kind of nice, to be honest. Mm, Alright, so we need to pick up... I need to have inventory for two items. So we're going to get rid of the healing item. Because we we're going to need that. And I could go out that door and use this to open up the death mask room. Because I, I really want to do that. And I need to go to Rebecca's room to use this. 
But in a way, I kind of don't want to do... I kind of want to use these items because once we go outside and we come back, you know, they're all going to be gone. Well, decisions. Um, let's see. No! You motherfucker! Oh my god. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I put the healing item up like an idiot. Asshole. Alright, this is fine. That zombie loves you? I just... <laughs> Wait, where did he go? He's gone. Where'd he go? He's gone. He's gone. Oh. Huh. That's where he is. I didn't know that he... Uh, I didn't know that that happened. Alright, so we need to grab... This is going to be bad. Alright, we grab this. And various fish hooks. The zombie does love me. No, that's the button. Here, let's grab this. Mm hmm. There's a. No. Alright, let's combine. Good. A collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Maybe it has something to do with the insect species. Right. So this puzzle is brand new. Remember in the in the OG, all you had to do was push a bookcase and press a button, and then the the fish tank, the um, the fish tank drained, and then you push that to push the shell. So they changed this as well. They also changed the interior; it's drastically different too. Ah! Ah, what the heck? Step on it! Why did you not step on it, you idiot? Just give it one big old... Hey, right, we'll grab the ink ribbon, because I, when I take a look at the map, I'm, I'm going to see that it's not complete. And it's gonna bug me. So let's grab this too. While we're here. And hopefully we don't get grabbed by stubs. Because if we get grabbed by stubs, I'm pretty sure we're dead. So hold on to your butts. No, stubs is okay. And we're done. Sweet. So if I had the, um... If I had the... Oh, Stubbs wants to come out. He wants to play. So if I had the other stuff downstairs, you're supposed to put it... You remember in the original version? When you go to the room all the way at the end of the hallway and you, you use the lighter on the fireplace, you would get the map. Well, they added one extra step to it in the remake. In the remake, you have to bring the wooden mount and then you have to put the mount on top of the stuff. And then you would get the, the map. So for, I I didn't do that because I thought I thought uh, I didn't um what the hell uh, I didn't have the lighter so but I did I had it the entire time and I just forgot forgot that Chris starts with it so we can we're gonna go do that all right let's use this um I think we can get away with it well we'll get an inventory slot for this. And we'll get an inventory slot for that. And we'll get an inventory slot for this too. So I think we can get away with using the, the shotgun for a little bit. Mm -hmm. That zombie did love me though. That guy, like, I was sucking right there. I'm in no way like a... I'm in no way like a good player when it comes to these games at all. I'm just a fan. 
You know, when you see, like, you know, the other known RE people who are really good at it, you can kind of feel self-conscious about how you play the game, but fuck it. Like, I don't really care. I am in no way claiming to be a good player. There is a map of the mansion second floor. Alright, so now we get to see, like, all the rooms and stuff, in the outline and stuff. You got the map to the second floor. Sweet. So they added an extra step to that. And now we got rid of that item. And we need to go get the other death mask. Stubs here. No, stop, dude, you literally grabbed me as it was transit. That's dirty. That's fucking dirt. Oh my god. I literally might be dead. Don't, please don't bleed. Okay, good. He's gonna get back up. They both are. It might be a waste of ammo, but that's fine. And they did a really they did a really good job of making it more challenging than the OG too. With the whole like the shotgun doesn't instantly decapitate you. They did such a good job with that. It makes it makes the gameplay just so much more intimidating. You know, I'm gonna bring the kerosene for a sec. And do we need anything else? Um no, I don't think so. I think this is enough. I'm gonna go through the other door. Down here. The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall off. Go through? Yeah. Alright, let's run. Are right, we gonna go here? And we're going to use the small key on the door so we can unlock this. So we can have like a faster way. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, now it's unlocked. Hey. And now we got like a shortcut from one, like the middle of the mansion, all the way over to the right. Oh, this guy. Nice. There are shotgun shells over here. I think we can go pick them up without getting bit. No, I'm at the room to the right. Ah. Uh. Well, at least we got him. I think of all the areas in the game, though, the, the this is arguably the worst looking place of all the areas in the game. Like the steps, you, you can barely tell that they're steps. They just look, it's just like all like the same color. Okay, so we got, we have two inventory slots. I think we're going to lose the key once we go to Rebecca. So, but we didn't go to the forest room. Which is over here. We never checked this. Now you remember in the OG version? There was a hallway that you had to walk down, right? And then you had to go into another door. So they just included it all in the same area now. See, there's, there's no, like, door into a hallway into another door. It's now just all one area. Too bad I don't have that grenade. Oh no. It's Forrest from Bravo Team. No. There are deep wounds all over his body. What could have torn him up like this? Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. That sucks. 
That, that sucks. I think that actually works all the time. At least it does for me. Later, nerd. Better luck next time. Okay. All right, so now we want to go all the way over to Rebecca, who's down the hallway. And... Then after that, the only place left to go is Richard. Well, no, we got bit, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't. Well, oh, this is okay. Because we're going to grab this. No. No. No, we actually need to go to Richard because we need the sheet of music to give to Rebecca. Right. I forgot. You know what? We're going to use the key to get it out of our inventory, though. That way we can have two free spots. Stop, stubs. Bye, stuff. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we don't. Now we got rid of the key and we got. And we got rid of him. And now it's smooth sailing. We gotta go do Forrest's. Uh, Richard's stuff now. So we don't need that emblem just yet. Dude, talk about an atmospheric game, though. Can you, like, tell me a game that sets the atmosphere and, like, the mood better than Resident Evil Remake 1? Like, it is such... Like, the gothic theme of the mansion is so good and, and so detailed everywhere. It looks so good. The feelings of isolation and and like you're all on your own. The background pieces, they look amazing. Absolutely stunning. I mean, they might look a little dated now, but you, Chris Redfield, Alpha Team, we're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris this place get your team out of here demons everywhere don't talk he seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake but the size of the bite mark is huge it's not just any ordinary snake <laughs> take my word for it he needs serum I left it in another room I'll go get it Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yo, he's running his ass off. We got to go save Richard. I ag agreed. It's so good. People run, chat. People run. No music, but... Uh, Rebecca is the team medic. Yeah, she is. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if she's the only team medic though. Oh, I think she is. I could. No, 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 no. No. I needed that actually. Fuck. Um. I think Kenneth is the team medic for Alpha Team. Maybe. I don't actually know what Kenneth's, Kenneth's role is. So, like, Forrest is the sniper. Barry is the 
close range arms man. Chris is just, you know, the all around member, I think, and the pilot. Or not a pilot. He used to be a pilot, but I think he's just an all around member. Same with Jill. Wesker is the leader. Brad's the helicopter pilot. Uh, and I think Kenneth might be the medic for Alpha Team, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, yeah, not, not entirely sure. You have a three buffer? No, you have a three buffer. Because buffers are different for everybody, so that's your individual buffer. Buffers are different for everyone. Dude, no! I had that. Dun, 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 dun. You don't need to tell me stuff like that, though. Kenneth's a token black guy? Not really, because Kenneth doesn't really even... He gets no screen time. Outside of, like, that one video in the OG game? I mean, of him actually being alive. The only time he gets screen time is in this game. And that's not until the very end. Like, the very end. Do, 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 do. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. He's Richard. Dead. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. He's dead. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. Okay? I think you can come back and have her heal you. Yeah, buffer size are... They're they're different for everyone, Dad. So your buffer size is different from someone else. So that's more something to do with this you than me. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Yes. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. You remember, like this doesn't happen until the second area of the game. So now we this happens so much earlier. Rebecca has treated your wounds. Yo, Lynch. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 18 whole months, and welcome back. Thank you so much for the 18 months of support. Thank you. Thanks. Somebody sure knows how to get a deal. Most of the medical supplies here are from Umbrella. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. Take care, Chris. Mm -hmm. Take care, Chris. Take care, Chris. Yeah, I talked about Rick. Richard is still sleeping. All right. So now, now that we've taken care of this, we can we can get rid of this. We don't need we don't need to bring around this at all. All right, we got 15 shotgun shells. I, I'm bringing around this kerosene and I haven't even used it. I don't think we need to bring the kerosene. I think, we, yeah, I think we're fine. All right, uh, what else could we bring? We don't need to bring the lighter. We don't need to bring the death mask. I think that's pretty good. Da -da -da. The Resident Evil 4 music threw you off. It might not be my favorite Resident Evil, but I do like the merchant. I do I do like the merchant in Resident Evil 4. Mm. 
All right, hopefully we find another grenade soon, because if we don't, that's going to suck. Yeah, but thank you for the 18 whole months of support. Lanch, I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you've been doing all right. Okay. Now let's go back to Richard's area because we only got two rooms left to search, which is Richard's and the Hey Aka is from Re Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, what do they call them? I forget what they call them, in the enemies in Resident Evil 4. What'd they call them, chat? You guys remember? They called them... I don't remember what they called them. There was a name they gave them. Oh shit, I didn't even know that guy was there. What'd they call them? The parasite is called Las Plagas, but they would call the actual people infected something else. But yeah, that's one of the people talking. Ganados? Ah, oh, I think it is Ganados. No! Dude, I aimed up and everything. Well, that's at least decent. Yes! Okay, good. We gotta make sure not to get grabbed. Alright, let's not get grabbed. This is good. But I only got three shots left. I need this. Oh, handgun bullets. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so once you used... Once you used the lighter here in the OG game, I don't think there was ever another use for it. Maybe there is, and I just don't know where it is. Alright, let's get him to come out. Come on, over here. Dun, 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 dun. And if you remember in the OG game, this was grenades or shotgun shells, depending on who you were. So now we got a, mu a music sheet. And I think that's everything in here. Uh, but yeah, Hey Aka is also from Resident Evil 4. And this dude's dead. And now we can go to the room with the music room. Oh, we also got one more room to go to, actually. Oh my god, pick it up, 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 pick it up. See ya. Yeah, we got one more room. It's actually the death mess on this floor. I haven't gone there yet. I don't I don't know the solution to this puzzle. Still. I've never learned it. No! No! Oh no! I knew I should have said it the manual. Oh no. All right. To who those, whom to those who disturb my sleep. No. Oh. Yo, hey Rencon, how you doing? There's something in this depression, but the great is in the way, and you can't reach it. So you have the shield, the sword, the sword, and the spear. Uh. Is there supposed to be, like, a hint in this room that tells you how to do this puzzle? Uh, chat? Because I've never learned this puzzle. So we have a shield. A... We have a shield. An axe, right? A sword and then a spear? Yeah. 
using a cheat sheet no I'm, i don't know this puzzle i've never learned this puzzle ever he's gonna force that one out Oh, well, never mind. That was easy. <laughs> so they changed this puzzle too. You remember in the OG version? You had to... The goal was to... Uh, just push it on top of the grate. So they changed this puzzle as well. This is another one that got changed. All right, so let's light up the heart, I think. So here's a switch. There's a switch. And then the box opens. And then we got another death mask. Yay! That's death mask number something. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually understand that puzzle. I just push this, the things in randomly. I would actually like to take the time to learn that one one day. Mm, okay, so that's that stuff. Inventory is looking a little thick. Just a little thick. In fact, we need to go put some stuff away because... It's looking a little thick, so let's go down. Oh, uh, no, we got stubs. Very goodbye, stubs. Da -da -da -da. Good morning, Rincon, by the way. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday. Da -da 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 is there anything in here? No, we grabbed everything in here. I think the only thing we haven't grabbed is the... Is the ink ribbon. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Akasan. Wait a minute. If we don't burn that man, he's gonna come back as a crimson head. Alright, let's go in here. Do some inventory management. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, Rincon. Alright, so let's put this up. We got another death mass. Another death mass bites the dust. Let's put some ammo up. We got we got a lot of bullets. Let's put up some uh, Colorado Finest. And... Let's reload our shotgun. We'll carry around six shots. And that's about it. We don't need to carry around the ammo. Because Chris's freaking inventory sucks. So, we're going to pick up an emblem and a book. And then we're going to combine them. So then it's going to give us four items. So if I bring the kerosene, that's going to make this... Right? I'm gonna go burn that guy. I don't want that guy to turn into a crimson head because that's just a whole nother bunch of headaches. Although, I wonder... Will he actually come back as a crimson head? I don't... You know what? I don't think we actually need to burn him now that I think about it. I don't think so. Yeah. Let's not. Let's have a little experiment. Okay, so... We're good. Although, I guess I could have brought... One sec, let me go over the inventory in my head. We pick up the emblem. We pick up the sheet. We combine it. We go in, we pick up the other emblem. So then we got one space left. And then... We get rid of the... Sh do 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 do. You know what? Okay. I think... I think I can afford it. Alright, we're gonna... Sorry for come backtracking. <laughs> I'm terrible at planning, okay? Chris is more inventory management heavy than the other one. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab this. Mm. Do you even want to do that? Does anyone in chat know the difference between the regular so shotgun and the assault? the assault shotgun uh, that you get from Richard? Does anyone know the difference? 
Like, does one have like a tighter spread than the other one? Or something like that? I, I don't know the difference like I do in Resident Evil Zero. So if you know, I would, I would love to know that. All right, I think we can go through this doorknob one last time. Hey, what's up, Jess? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. All right, Stubbs. Hey, hey, hey to you too. Yeah, does anyone know in chat? The assault has a higher, a higher uh, crit percentage for headshots. It does. Is it weaker? I I actually never use it. I've never used it. Slightly more powerful too. Really? You know, I always thought it was uh, weaker. Yeah, I, I thought it was weaker. Huh, thanks. Thanks for the knowledge. I'll definitely uh, use it then. Yeah, we're at Remake now, yep. We are on Remake. Yeah. Uh, chat also. Well, I, can I get your opinion on this for YouTube? Because I can't make up my mind, so I'd, I'd like to get a second opinion. When creating the videos for YouTube out of these, I was wondering if I should cut each game up. So like not including two games in one video or so what that leads to is like, say we play two, we happen to start one game and finish it and then start another one. I would cut it up into two videos for one stream. Or do you think I should just leave it one video? So like, for instance, on the second one, the second stream we had, uh, we finished Resident Evil Zero and we started OG. Do you think I should just leave that as one video or cut it up into two since it's two different games? Hey, what's up, Christy Bell? Yo, Tater, thanks so much for the raid. How you doing? How was Overwatch? It's your favorite series? Hey. All right, let's combine this. Kisha, how you doing? How's it going? Thanks everybody. Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome everyone who came along from Tater's Raid. How you guys all doing? Hope you guys all had a great time. Enjoyed some Overwatch. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? What was that? My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yes. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, Holy I won't. Well, there's your question earlier, uh, Jack. Holy shit. Yo, uh, Kesha. Thanks so much for the... The $50 tip, jeez. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. Jesus. Yeah, you see, it, it sounds like it says, hey, I got, doesn't it? That's why I picked it. Yo, thanks so much for the, for the, the 50, uh, don't know. Thanks so much for the support. Holy, holy heck. Holy heckaroo. Thank you. Um, I'm doing okay, Tater. I'm do I'm doing fine. I'm enjoying myself because I'm playing the the re's that uh the re's that I enjoy so far. But things it's going good. It's 
going good. Hopefully, you got, uh, hopefully you had a nice uh, stream. Uh, for any, I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene, but uh, now that it's over, uh, for everyone who came along from Taters Raid, welcome. Uh, if you guys don't know how to pronounce my name, my name's Akamatsu. Some people get hicked up on it. Hope you guys all had a great time over at Taters. Uh, we are doing a Resident Evil-a-thon. Where we're going through a good portion of the Resident Evil games. We're doing slow story runs. Exploring all the lore and doing all the stuff. And right now we're on the third game in the run. Resident Evil 1 Remake. We finished, we finished uh, the OG re... The OG remake. The original game yesterday. And Zero before that. So now we're on the remake. And we plan to do the original 2 after this. And then 2 remake. So that's what we're doing. But I hope you guys all had a great time over at Taters. Do this. Yo, thanks so much. Jesus. Yeah, K will do that. Naka, first night he was in my stream, he did that. Because Chris, I was playing. Chris! I think I got it. This makes perfect. <laughs> What's this? What's this? I, do, I, I'm not sure if you actually got to go to the other side of the mansion and come back to get her to the finish, or you have to pick up the emblem. Oh, right, this. Trevor's Diary. So this is brand new to the game as well. Also, I didn't mention it earlier, but that that thing where they mentioned Spencer uh, is the first time that they mentioned Sp Spencer, at least in this game, which is, you know, Spencer, the founder of Umbrella. So they didn't have him in the OG game, or I don't think they had him in 2 either. So... There's that as well. It, it's also K shot K shotria K shotria. Did I say it right? K shotria. Trevor's diary. November twenty fourth, nineteen sixty seven. That's a long ass time ago. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate how did i end up like this a guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said sorry to put you through this but it's for security reasons that's when it hit me it all makes sense now there are only two people that know the secret of this mansion sir spencer and myself if they kill me sir spencer would be the only person that knows the secret but for what purpose he doesn't ma it doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are all all right. I have decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26, 1967. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th. Wait, what? The date when my fate was sealed. My daughter was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there uh, with her. But wait. Even as I'm writing, my, uh, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the man in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your father is all ready. Oh, your family is all ready. I pray for their safety. November 27th, 1967. I somehow managed to get out of that room before getting out of this mansion. Uh, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. The tiger eyes, the gold emblems. I have to try and remember for my sake. Mmm... 
Not good. Lisa's dad. Yeah. So Jessica is his wife and Lisa is his daughter. So George is the person who created this mansion. To give you a little bit of lore on how it came to be. He's commissioned by Spencer to make it. Were you all right in there? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Are you all right in there? Rebecca has a look of concern in her eyes. Yeah. I was 20 in 1967. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Not even my parents were born. All right, sure. Mm -hmm. You got a favorite game in the series, Tater? Oh, I straight up passed it. 20 million millennia, you mean? Okay, whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, this is brand new as well. This puzzle. So, in the OG, instead of this puzzle, you just simply opened it up and got the key. So, now we got to do a puzzle to get the key. But you got to look at the photo. It's a picture of two knights striking each other. The short one, the short, uh, the short one's sword has been thrust into the breast of the one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Ouch! Ouch! When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will be open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it, yes. The small sword. Let's turn it to the right. I know, Elite. Nothing happened. Maybe it's got something to do with the helmet. I know, I know, I know. Small. I mean, that's technically what it is, but I don't think this is it. No. I think we actually gotta make this small. We'll see. And then... Oh no, oops, that's the wrong one. No, the small one went through the body. Well, the large one went through the head, but I still don't think that's it, because I think they're actually going by the actual size of the arms, not the names. Yeah, okay. So we'll switch them. Large sword. Large sword. Yeah. So that's actually, it's based on the actual size of the, the arms and not the name. That can throw you off. All right, now we got the key. We got the mansion key. And... Do we wanna? Nah, we're fine. A millennia? That's not true and you know. All right, now we got the key. And we got one more place to go or we can leave this hell hole. Do, 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 do. Da 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 da. Shit. Okay, not bad.
Do you think yawn was an intended bioweapon chat? Alright, you have no further use for the key. Let's go. Do you think yawn was an intended bioweapon? Or just a byproduct? I feel like it's intended. There's nothing over here. There we go. So we still got the shotgun shells. Remember, there was shotgun shells in the OG, but they put them in a different spot. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's a... It's a monster! He's a big one. Look how big he is. He's so big. That's a big boy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. And so now we got the final death mask. And we can go do the puzzle. So the puzzle is why I wanted the grenade earlier. Uh, that was the reason why I wanted the grenade, but now I don't have it, so... We're gonna have to do the puzzle the hard way, which kind of sucks. You can kind of cheese it with a grenade, but we don't... Uh, since I didn't put it on manual, I kind of screwed myself, but hey, that's what I get. I think we can also get away with bringing the pistol, too. I don't think we need to bring the shotgun. Hey, he still hasn't turned into a crimson head. This is good. Because we won't be coming back here. Alright, so let's go here. Do this. Alright, so we're gonna put- we're gonna put the shotgun away. Look at that! We got 24 shotgun shells. We'll bring the handgun. We'll bring the death mask. And... Before that, we'll actually save our game. This will be our first save. It's an old typewriter. I love the fact that they brought the typewriter system back to Resident Evil to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Even though it was hidden behind hardcore difficulty, I'm so glad they brought it back. I missed it in Resident Evil 3 Remake. I wonder why they didn't, they they just took it out completely. Like it's, you know, for fans who've played the OG games, it's such a nice thing to have. The doorknob is broken and you can't pass through. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to do it this way. The doorknob you can't go through. No! <laughs> Rip. No! No! That is not what I needed. Shit. What's our health? Shit. Ah, shit. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Fuck it. God, I really wish I had a grenade right now. No. How many of you guys have played this game? Have you, have you guys played this? Oh, look. The zombies from before are now gone. See? They're now gone. A stone statue with the holes where the eyes should be. Nope, I suck. You don't suck. A stone statue with the holes where eyes, nose, and mouth should be. 
Stone statue where the hole where your nose should be. Yeah. A stone statue where your mouth should be. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Wait, why is that door closing? No! Zombie biting us in the hallway really fucked us over, man. Damn, there's our first death. No! Uh, let's see. We are number two. I kind of figured I would die against that crimson head, though, because... The darkness lies. In the darkness lies your fears. Do -do -do. All right, let's put up the ink ribbon. We'll try it again. Hopefully we don't get grabbed by the zombie in the hallway, because that really screwed us. Although, even though, it's not like that guy's a hard, easy fight either, either way. Let's see. Hey, all right, we got past them. All right, now we gotta get past the other one. Might just use our gun on the other one, to be honest. Hell yeah. Because it's a hard time seeing him. Oh, we got past him too? Yeah! Yeah! Hell yeah. Zombie duking champion, Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield. When we get the... I'm, I'm thinking of playing Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 with mouse and keyboard just to see what it's like. I imagine it's going to be really weird. Alright, do we have full HP? I think we have full HP. Okay. All right, let's do the... Actually, is there anything over here that we can pick up? Oh, dude, the mouse cursor is so annoying. I wonder why some games just don't totally get rid of the mouse the mouse cursor when you have a controller plugged in. Hey, what's up, Salty Asian? Happy, um, happy Wednesday. How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice day so far. Welcome to the stream. Get it right on your face, chat. Well, you got it right up all in your mouth. Ah, uh, you can taste it, can't you? Uh, let's do this. Yeah. And let's also do this. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's equip our gun. You see how mutated their skin is? Like how it's red?
I wanted to get two shots there so bad. Hey, we did it. We did it. Hey. We only got hit once too. Nice. How many bullets did we have left? Oh, you know what? We might've been able to do it in 15 shots. All right, we got some shotgun shells. You see how it says it's eight cartridges? Yeah, we only get six. All right, there's a switch. Press it. Yeah. There's something here. A stone and metal object. All right. We beat them. Dude, these things are such a pain. They are such a pain. They are so durable. You can barely get like two shots with the handgun off on them before they can before they can hit you. Like, oh, they are so brutal. All right, we can go this way now too. And since we opened up this door, we can now take this shortcut and have like a, a shorter way to get to where we need to go. Although we didn't kill the one zombie in the hallway, so that might be a little bit of a problem. Juke him. Nice. Nice. So do you remember do you remember the difference here? So that whole crimson head thing was not in the original game, and neither was that right there. So you remember in the OG, we had to go around and get the four the four stone objects to put into the door to unlock it. So they changed it to that one item. Now we got a whole crap ton of shotgun shells. Like, we have so many shotgun shells. We also got a grenade. But <laughs> we got it after the fact. I wanted to get it before. Uh, is there anything over here hidden? A collection of gardening supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Oh, and you know what? I don't have the one item. Crap. Yeah, I don't have the one item. I should have... Yeah, we're going to have to come back and use it later. Or we can use it... You know what? No, we can use it now, I think. Let's go this way. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's read this. It seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. North equals Valley of Destruction. South equals Cave of Hatred. East equals Summit of Madness. And West equals Path of Revenge. Destruction is north, south is hatred, east is madness, and west is revenge. I don't know if that's actually right, but we'll do that. One, respond. Wesker? Yeah, so this whole area is completely new too, so they didn't they didn't have that door in the OG. They only had the front door. So that whole thing right there was brand new as well, along with this puzzle. They didn't have anything like this in the original game at all. The guard the gate will open when the guard dog's desires are filled. The statue with the red eyes. The inscription reads The War Cry of Revenge. So this is west, or west or east. The last ga uh, gasp of destruction. So this is north. The blue one's north. And the other one is... The other one is either east or west.
That thing was spent so fast. I know I got it right. Destruction is north. Yeah, destruction is north. And revenge is west. Yeah, I know it wasn't crazy. So I think if you walk through here, they don't get up and start going at you, but I'm not entirely sure. But I, I forgot to bring the item that we wanted to bring here. So Ripperoni, we'll have to bring it back or bring it on our way back. What the hell was that? What was that? Uh-huh. Chat, do you guys got a favorite Resident Evil game? Here. Well, let's grab this map. A map of the courtyard. I got the map. Uh, I got the map for the courtyard. I guess three through four. A family picture. Ellipsis. There is a journal left by someone. Nineteen. Daddy attached, uh, daddy attacked first. Mommy attacked second. Inside red and slimy. White and hard. Not true mom where? Don't know dad. Found mom again. When attacked mommy. She moved no more. She's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Or, mommy, where? I miss you. Mm. Mm. All right, let's put up these shotgun shells. Let's put... Uh, let's grab the crest. So, in the OG game, you were, you were going around the mansion collecting crests to get out of the mansion. So, in this game, it's death mask. Um, our health is pretty low. We're on caution. This is F. This whole segment right here is just so sad. Whole segment is just sad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What was that? Oh, and then we're down. What the hell is that? Ugh. Ow. Jeez. The hell is that? Yeah, I don't want anything to do with you. 
Has anyone ever spent time trying to down her right there of all the ammo you have available at the moment? Has anyone done that? Ooh, that was close. That was too close. Holy shit. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. You'd guess three and four. I can't believe you like Resident Evil 3 Remake Cut. I can't believe you. Alright, so the crest that we picked up in the original game was used to go outside, right? So in the remake, it's used right here in this new area. And you, then you get these three. The crest fitted. So then you go over here, but you got to make sure to click the back of them because they won't fit unless you do it, unless you click the back of them. And you click the back of them like so. Right? And then you put them in. You can see the like the imprints of the backs too. And then Oh <gasps> look at that, we got a magnum! What? The gun has been replaced neatly inside. You didn't get this for like you didn't get this until after plant 42. So now we can haul ass. So once we start hauling ass, the birds start moving. Yeah, you like you didn't get that in the OG until after you went back to the mansion after Plant 42, and then you had to put the jewel, uh, the red jewel in the, in the tiger, and then you would get the uh, the magnum. So you would get shotgun shells and the magnum. So so far we've gotten, I think, shotgun shells, I think, and we don't know what else we get. So. And then also, we went there to get the crank. And if you remember in the OG game, when you came into this little hut right here, you had to push a little mini metal steps to go up. And then that's how you got the crank. So, but that's not how you get the crank in this game. So you got to go to Lisa's place to get the crank. And then if you remember... Stars Alpha Team, come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team, Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. This thing's broken. So you remember in the OG game that they had like the red herbs and the green herbs right here? Now they're gone. Still got the dogs, though. Still got the dogs. And that cutscene didn't play right there. That cutscene played in a different spot. And it, it played after you left Plant 42. So they, they changed where that played as well. Dun, 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 dun. Damn, look at those HD graphics. Look at that pixel count. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Dun, 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 dun. Can you actually unequip this stuff? Oh, you can. I could have just did that earlier. I didn't think you could unequip it. You know, every single time I pass by this, I always think that something's gonna jump out of the water. You know? Like, doesn't it look like with the position of the camera that something's gonna jump out of the water? Like, they're emphasizing that one, sp that one part of the water right there a little too heavy. 
And then we don't get any snakes. You remember when we came here on the OG, there were snakes, no snakes. And then this was dogs. Now we got crows. So that changed. So they, they changed it from dogs to crows in here. But they kept the... Uh, so now we got the herbs that we would find normally before. Now they're right here. But in the original version, there was a lot of them. We only got a red one. Oh, look, the snakes. There they are. So they changed the placement of the snakes where they drop down. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why they like emphasize Chris's ass right here, you know? But for some reason you can't control the game and then Chris suddenly turns around at this low camera angle for some reason. I don't know why the game does this. But it's it's weird game logic, and uh, I don't I, I I can't find a reason why they do this. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and then we got another grenade. Because you're a perv. I mean, I'm not the one who programmed the game to do it. So, yeah. All right, then we got a red herb. Let's make some mixes. We got another mix. And then we got, we're gonna put up the Magnum because there's no way in hell that we're using this here. And we can put up the crank for the time being because we don't really need it. Now, thankfully, since we're only gonna like come back here once, we can actually kill everything in here with a handgun and not have to worry about them turning into crimson heads. So that's the one really nice, nice thing about this area. We can finally get like a good use of our hand grenades or our hand ammo, handgun ammo. Da, 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 da. GameCube graphics. The, it's locked. The door plate reads zero one one. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's put the hand, uh, the handgun away for a minute. And we'll go get the shotgun. We'll go get the shotgun. Did this game, did these games like scare anybody into not wanting to play them? Cause I never, I never had that experience with these games. That was, that was never a thing for me. So a small little change here is they changed it from a statue to a box. So now it's a box you push. And then they also changed the hole. So now you have to go on top of these boxes instead of... Right? Oh no, he still gets you. Really? I don't think this does that much damage, does it? No, it doesn't. Well, I got that wrong. The PS1 did way back when? I never had that experience. Oh, yeah, and then look at this. I love this. They made the spiders in this room so much easier. Look at that. You remember the original spiders? They took, like four shotgun shells to kill and they were so fast oh look he's gushing oh oh he's a geyser of goo and then your obligated picture of a girl in a bikini obviously Gotta have it. Alright, let's use this. Alright, so... A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Can you guys help me remember this stuff? Because I'm gonna forget. 
It's an eyeball that has... It's an eye that has two lines on the far out with a, with a pupil in the middle, and it's red. So they reworked the, uh, the, they reworked the puzzle in here as well. You remember in the original game, all you had to do was go to the table and follow the sequence one, two, four, five. They changed that. They also changed the location where you get the red book. You wouldn't get it in here. You would get it somewhere else originally, but now we get it here. All right, so the green one has no eyelashes and it has a cat eye. So the red one has the pupil and the eyelashes on the far outside and the green one has no eyelashes and it has a cat eye. And then you have the picture of the butt because this is necessary in every single Resident Evil game that exists because for lore reasons, you can't have, you can't have rich lore without a butt poster in RE. And if you didn't notice, there's a spider right here. Some billard balls have, uh, some billard balls, two, three, four, five, six. So, so far we saw a red one, which was three, a green one, which is six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but. And then we have a red, a orange one. Which has no pupil and three eyelashes. So the red one has two eyelashes on the outside and a pupil in the middle. The green one has no eyelashes and a cat eye. And the orange one has no pupil, but three lashes. And then red was three, green was six, and orange was five. Could you guys help me remember that stuff? Because I'm going to forget. Oh no! Am I poisoned? Wow, you get poisoned by the gush! Oh no, oh no, that one was pregnant too. Oh god, the little babies. Ew. Uh, the babies. Alright, let's use the, uh, the blue herb. Oh, I can't use it. Is this a blue herb, uh, green herb mix? It's a mix of a green herb, blue herb. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, there we go. We're fine. We're fine. All right, and then we're going to go put our uh, weapon up because we no longer need it. Um, all right, so we'll put the shotgun up and we'll put the handgun up. But we'll bring the hand... Uh, I mean, the shotgun bullets. We'll bring the handgun. And we'll bring the handgun ammo. I don't think we need this right just yet, so we'll put that up too. All right, I think green was six, orange was four, and blue was three. Mm hmm. So you remember in this hallway, there was three green herbs, right? And then you had to like, you had to push the statue to get the green herbs. So now we got the map. This map was inside one of the rooms in this hallway. So they changed that. That was this, uh, that's different. Um, you've got the map to the residence. There's a hole in the wall there. And then we got, uh, I think this one's open. No, this one's locked. All right, so we need the gallery key.
Did we get the residence key? And it reads zero one one uh oh oh one. And you can't do anything else in here. I don't think so. Yeah, we got everything in here already. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't know that he was right there. Ooh. Right as he tried to grab us. Nice. Okay, plant 42 report. So you normally got this report in the room where you, uh, you did the red books. So they changed the location of this one. Four days have passed since the incident. The plant at uh the plant at point forty two is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T virus has a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T virus has uh, has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary uh, nutrients. One source is through its root. Some, uh, somehow it has rooted itself down in the basement. Immediately after the uh, accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been, a, has been like a pool. There is, uh, there is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that is promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like plant of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it, that it uses the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous ones... Oh, wait, wait, wait. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it uses the air ducts to reach the, fir uh, the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vines draw the prey of its blood. <laughs> We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it, when it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twin around the doors to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the, when the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital uh, internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. I don't think that was in the original. This, this note right here, I don't think that was in the original. One witness report that, that it was... One witness reported that it was as if... was trying to protect itself. Oh, oops. Why... Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. November, May 20, uh, 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. Henry Barton. So, that's pretty much the same. I think we can... I think that's everything in this room. So, yeah, we didn't get the report normally in here. And you remember there was like a lot of small locked doors in this place. I think they got rid of almost all of them. I don't think there's any small lock doors anymore uh, for this area. So I don't think the key we picked up is for here. I think it's for the room all the way back here. Let's, uh, all right, air gun is okay. Yeah, it took me forever to realize. So I guess Umbrella was experimenting on like two different plants because in Resident Evil 2, there's also a plant but I didn't realize it was an actual plant 
like a giant plant, even though they had the plant enemies that you would fight, you know, with a flamethrower. I didn't realize there was like a mother plant at, um, in the core uh, of the other facility, which I think the other facility is in the mountains somewhere here. So, yeah, oh, look at this guy. Well, the, this poor bastard, he actually hanged himself. Oh, man. So this didn't happen in the OG either. This is an interesting weapon. So I don't understand this weapon. It only has one shot. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I have to do it. We ran from those things. We helped each other to survive. But Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were uh, if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for be, uh, for being a part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is the re is regret beyond words. But this is b uh, this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me in my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. So this is completely new. This was not in the OG whatsoever. This is completely new. See, I like, and I, I'm gonna say it over and over and over again. There is so much new stuff in this game. Yet no one, no one complained about it. Not at all. There is so much brand new stuff. Changement of items, little little placements. The only thing that doesn't really change is that they act they keep every room from the OG in the remake. I don't think there's a single room that changes. Or they get rid of. I I believe so. I uh the only area where it gets fishy is in the water tank with Neptune. Because you remember when you go on the Neptune, in the OG version, if you take the right, then that's where the roots were. But then you had the two doors across from that, the one that had the ammo area. And then they also had the one that had the switch for you to drain the water. So there was three rooms in the tank area. That, that area out of all areas in the game is the one that has the most change in the game like structure wise but every room from the og is here in this remake like and they just added new rooms and they changed around the layouts of some of the already existing rooms so for instance we haven't got to the library but the library has changed um the light the library has changed or the the room where there's the there's the room right where we fought Yawn in the original game, the second time where he comes out of the chimney. That room this changed. It's no longer a room that just has a piano and a chimney. It now has two like um it has a sliding puzzle. So like that room changed. But majority of the rooms in this game are exactly the same, just with a cosmetic update, but they may have switched around the items. And on top of that, they added new rooms in the game. But the base, the bit, like the core gameplay is still here. Like they added the 180 turn, but you still move around the same. And you remember the alternative, the alternative controls weren't in the remake at the, uh, to begin with. That came with the, the HD remake, I believe on the PS4. So you still had to use tank controls. You just had the Resident Evil 3 180 turn. So that's a nice quality of life. You know, but it still plays the same, just refined, more smooth. So, but they changed so much of the game, but left, like, you. I guess you could say the layout the same. The base layout is left the same for the most part. And 
Like, one of the things we see nowadays rolling around with people, like, saying, like, you know, you shouldn't change anything in a remake at all. You should leave it the way it is, but here it is. Here's a prime example of a game that changed all, almost majority of the game. They left the core gameplay the same, but they changed around so much stuff, and it, it works. It, it works. So... I think if remakes were done like this, I don't think people would be crying about remakes at all. Because there's a lot of games that are made at times that have inferior technology and they re remade them now and they did a good job. They could be really good experiences. Like really good experiences that could be more fleshed out, have more things to do with them. You know? Yeah, there is zero reason for a remake to have less content than the original. Absolutely. There's no excuse. There is something inside the bathtub. We got the control room key. So, I mean, like, the self-defense item thing was didn't exist at all. The, uh, the map did exist, but you, it wasn't allocated. I think it was allocated to one of the shoulder buttons. Oh, no, no, that was Resident Evil Zero. And this, in the, oh, oh, gee, you had to go to the map. Or the inventory. Yeah, we're going to leave this guy. But this is a remake done good. Like, this is your prime example of, like, you can change things. But as long as you do a good job. And you don't mess with, like, what's going on. It can definitely work. That's true too. If they don't if they don't add anything new, then it's yeah, it is just a re-release. Yeah. That's true. Even if they change the graphics. If they up if they updo the graphics. Like they overhaul the graphics completely, but if they don't add anything to it, yeah, it's mainly just It's not technically a remaster, because a remaster is you not actually messing with the graphics it's you just like applying anti-aliasing and smoothing out the textures and the resolution but yeah you're really well no i mean a re-release is you just re-releasing the same game i mean it's technically a remake but if you're not adding anything like you i mean you technically are adding a background i take that back no that is a remake it's just it's the, a, i would say it's a shallow remake but it is still technically a remake Because a remaster to me is like DMC, where it's just the same, it's the exact same game. Just higher resolution. This is a complete overhaul of the, of the graphics. But say like if that's all they did, I would still call it a remake. But it, but it would be inferior if it didn't have quality of life changes. Because the difference in time determines how how much of quality of life can be added, right? And this is a difference of six years. This is... This is a difference of six years. So... There could be plenty that they could add. But it all depends on, like, time. And how much advancement in technology has happened. Oh, I don't think you can push this one back. It is just a reskin. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. So this is the same, although they changed the position of the boxes. So that box that's right there used to be all the way at the far end. But my whole point in spew that I bring up is that I think gamers need to stop being so damn apprehensive about remakes and like them changing shit. Of course, you're gonna get your bad apples, of course, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't label all remakes inherently bad, which is what I see a lot. 
I see a lot of people bitching and moaning about remakes just being bad. That's not true. Just one, a couple bad examples does not mean all remakes are bad. They're like you're using a small example and, and generalizing an entire category of, of stuff, which is never a good idea in anything. Like, a remake can be good if they take time to make it good. And that's what it comes down to. In comparison to Resident Evil 3, they didn't take time to make it good. And that's very clear. But that doesn't mean all remakes will suffer the same fate as that game. Richard! Chris! Chris, stop! No! Richard! Richard! No! We saved them just for him to die somewhere else. What was he doing here in the first place? What the hell? God, those things are fast. Well, you could definitely say Neptune got an upgrade. Use the control room key. You no longer need this. Discard it? Yes. RIP RIP. Richard went out so much better in this game than he did in the original game. In the original game, you gave him the serum and he just dies. In this game, at least he gets eaten by a shark. Which in turn gives Neptune a better a better portion of the game too. Cause Neptune was a bitch in the original game too. There, right, this is a map to the Aqua Green. So they both got a better experience in this game. Let's see. Oh no, I didn't discard the key. Oh no, I didn't discard the key. No, can I discard it? Well, fuck me in my inventory. Well, we're gonna have to come back. All right, uh, right, let's see. Let's go all the way down here. So you remember that this, this didn't happen. There was no like two floors. The door is held tightly shut by the pressure of water. So there was there was no like two floors to this at all. Right? You remember when we went in, it was all flat. But now we're at we're below water. See? And there's Neptune right there chilling. A pressure shutter. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong with the draining system. There is a switch to drain the water. Press it. Uh oh. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Mm. There's a control lever, but it won't budge until the safety is released. There's a pressure shutter is locked. Release the safety? Yes. The safety mechanism has been released. You can resume drainage. The control lever for the shutter. Pull it? Yes. Reaching 30% of pressure mm. threshold. Mm. The oil pressure is lost. Shutter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure and release the safety. Shit. Which, uh, these switches control the oil pressure valves. Uh, let's do one. Nothing happened. Three. Reaching fifty percent. Nothing happened. Of pressure threshold. Two. No. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. No. Nah, nah. All right. Shutter's locked. Release it. It's released. Get y'all over. Pull. Uh, uh, 
You wonder what happens if he breaks the windows? I bet you can already guess. The safety has been released. Drain the water? Yes. So it's it's more it's they turned it into a puzzle. The water has been completely drained. They turned it into a puzzle, see? So it's no longer simply, hey, go in this room, press the switch, drain the water. Now you got to do all this stuff. And then this didn't exist in the original game. Materials are labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Diving suits. Oh, we got shotgun shells. Hey, all right, shotgun shells. Although it sucks. I think that's the only thing. Let's go here. I mean, what do you think happens, though? The water breaks, Neptune gets in. Oh, Magnum bullets. Damn, look at that, look at that. All right, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go up here, because our inventory's full. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. You unlocked it. Now... And that door didn't exist in the OG version, so... Now we got that door. Yeah, did they animate the shark busting through and eating you? I actually have no idea, because I haven't felt that in so long. In fact, I don't even know when I felt that, if I ever have, to be honest. Alright, we gotta go put the key up. And some other things. Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> bad? I didn't do anything bad. That shark was bad. He was trying to eat me. Go here. Go there. All right, do you guys remember the uh, the face colors and stuff? You remember? It's gonna be on the quiz. All right, shotgun shells. Which you should have an ass load of. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got 44. Magnum bullets. We got six. Nice. Uh, we'll use this. And then we'll put the key up because I didn't, I didn't mean to take it. Uh, should we bring... Should we bring this? The red book? No, we can come back and grab it if we need it. What is this? It's a mixture of two green herbs inside. We'll use it. Clear up our inventory. Alright, let's go. Although, you know what? We could actually put our gun away now. Right? Yeah! We could put our gun away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. We don't, we don't need our gun at the moment. In fact, we can bring the red book and substitute it for our gun. Because there's really nothing in our way at all. We've, um... We've taken out all people. All right, let's go here. Go there. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't know if there is an actual shark animation of it busting through the window and eating you. I, I It's been so long since I failed that. I don't even know. I assume it just fades to black once the, it busts through and then it says you died. I, but that's a good question. I have to look that up. All right, so let's go back downstairs. So there's a green herb down the end of this hallway, too. I'm not quite sure if we can pick it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, these backgrounds right here do look a little bit dated. They look like they got a sharp filter on them in Photoshop. Their sharpness is so is so high that you can kind of see the noise in the image a lot. All right, was there an item in this room we haven't picked up? No. And we haven't gone in this room. All right. So you remember how in the OG version that they were on the floor? Here it is. Oh yeah, and since they got Richard, we get Richard's shotgun. The assault shotgun. And it can carry 10 bullets instead of six. It fires 12 gauge shells. A custom, uh, a star's custom arsenal. Also Richard's favorite. Uh -oh. I think it'd be safe if we go back in the water and get that key. What do you think? The, gener uh, the generator unit for water flow control system. Press the lever down. Yes. <laughs> Although, okay, chat, if we just electrocuted that thing, wouldn't we get electrocuted if we came back into this water immediately? Right? I think so. I'm not entirely sure. I like that's why I'm asking. I have I'm not entirely sure. You would, right? I mean, even though the circuit like fried out and it's not sending an electric signal anymore, I I'm not sure if it would be entire like, I, I'm not so sure if it would be entirely safe to go back in that soon. I'd be, I'd be hesitant. I would not want to go back in that soon. All right, we're going to go check around these areas. So you remember I said there was three doors. And one was where it had its roots, and the other one was an armory room. So the armory room, I guess, got replaced with that in-between room. Where we picked up the shotgun shells and the magnum rounds. And then this is the root room. See? So... Yeah. This is the root room. There's nothing in here. And unlike the original game where the roots were still, the roots in this game are animated. Jump in the water and find out. Ah, uh, I enjoy living. So I, I won't find out. Now we're gonna pick up this herb. But okay, so you remember in the original game when you drained the water that these these were still afloat? Well, in the remake they rem they remified that. So when you drain the water, that these actually sink. So that's why they added the door over there. He's, I remember I pointed that out. I pointed that out in the OG. Like, how do we drain the water yet that stuff is still afloat? So they, they changed it. They wised up. They realized what was going on. Alright, let's go here. And to here. The shark area is like the water tank room in Metal Gear Solid 2. Water tank room? Which one? Oh, the one you have to swim through? I really enjoy I really enjoy this look of Chris. I I enjoy this one more than what Chris is now. Like Chris now is just not 
He's not what I thought Chris would turn into. Like, Chris now is just muscle head. I really, honestly, I really, I, it, I mean, it doesn't matter either way if it happens or not, but I kind of hope that Resident Evil 7 Chris and Resident Evil 8 Chris are two different people. I, I definitely hope that's the case. I don't know, if, you know, like if it doesn't happen, it doesn't matter, but 7 Chris and 6 and 8 Chris look drastically different from each other. 6 and 8 Chris look very, like, similar, where 7 Chris just looks like he's not even the same person anymore. Okay, so now we got the key for the other area. The circular water treatment room. Oh, okay. And we're gonna go over here. Use this. Get rid of this key. Eight is Roid Chris. Right, it's 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 uh five Chris all over again. grab this. So this wasn't in the original game either. A corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. He's holding something. Yeah, like, I, I've always enjoyed this Chris. Oh, fuck. That's right. Oops. It's too dangerous to go any further. So you remember the bugs in the original game? You actually had no means of, of dealing with them outside of trying to shoot them. So in this game, they added that hole in the wall over here. And so if you go over here, you can use the, uh, the insected spray and you can kill them. Another thing that wasn't in the OG. And now, we can get in, and we don't have to deal with those suckers anymore. Does this require a key? It's locked. It reads, uh, 003. Does he have anything else? Look at the lumps on his head. You see the lump on the back of his head to the left? Like, oh, dude, that sucks. He got stinged by bees to death. Well, you take the resonance key, yes. Like, look at that. Oh, dude, that's painful. That sucks. Use the resonance key. There's no further use for it. I think there's a healing item over here. There is. Okay. So, this game also doesn't have the feature that I said I think is extremely nice in Resident Evil Zero. And one of the great things about Resident Evil Zero. The ability to be able to use items when your inventory's full, if you pick them up, if it's a, if it's ammo that you're already carrying, or if it's um, a healing item. They don't have that in this game. And I, I think that's so nice in Resident Evil Zero. One of the great, one of the nice actual things about the game. I wish that was a thing in all RE games. filled with dirty water. Oh, there's nothing in it. So there's actually nothing in this room. Yeah, this room has nothing in it. Okay. So there must be an item for Jill in there. Let's see. And then we have... So in this room, it, we had one of the locked dressers right here. It didn't... It's not here. The book in this room was actually over here. The view is blocked by dense thickets of trees. Mm. There, The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it. Organic chemistry lab experiment. 
The similarities and cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a new chemical in UMB family, UMB20, so you remember in the original game it was called UMB16, contains a compound that is so toxic that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB20 a new name, V-Jolt. The calculations proved correct when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the problem. The entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and the UMB chemicals in a, in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as following. UMB3, red. Yellow, six, yellow. UMB7, that didn't exist green, UMB 10 didn't exist either, orange, UMB 17 blue, UMP V jolt dark brown. So they changed the number from 16 to, to 20 for some reason. I don't know. Yo, hey Lander, how's it going? Happy, uh, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the stream. The binding of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books. Mocha TOS? Not really. There we go. So then, there was no puzzle to actually open the door in the OG in the OG game. It was just open. So now let's go here. Mm -mm -mm. And then, do you guys remember the passcode? There's a lock mechanism for the door. Use it. Uh, do you guys remember? The no pupil was the last one. That was orange. That was four, I think. This one was the first one, I think, which was red, right? I think it was, yeah, the top one was orange, the bottom one was red, and the other one was green. The green one was the cat eye, and the green one was six. So it was either, what was it? Was it two, three, two, three, six? No. Four? No. What about three? I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you guys remember? I don't think the I don't think the colors matter. The colors were only there to tell you the numbers on the ball. So this one was the final one. Maybe this was six. Maybe this was four. Maybe this was four. And this was three. I don't remember. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back. Darn it, I tried to remember. So you gotta remember the shapes of the faces and then the colors on the table. Let's see. It was...
So this one was orange. Yeah, that one's orange. Orange was five. Orange was five. It's three, five, six. Yeah, three, five, six. Fuck. I thought it was four. This one has no pupil. The green one has the cat eye. And the other one has the pupil. Three, five, six. Crap. Three, five, six. 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 Three five 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 six. Okay, so the people one was five. This was three. This was six. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of butt posters in that room. Okay. Can Chris do this stuff? He couldn't do it in the other game. There's something written on the wall. 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 6 equals 10. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 10 plus 7 equals 17. 17 plus 3 equals 20. Okay. You don't know much about medicine, so there's no point in taking the empty bottles. <laughs> he still can't do it. Oh, he still can't do it in this game. That's what you get for spending all your time at the gym, Chris. That's what you get. All right, we're going to go grab the handgun. And we're going to grab the... Uh, the... Uh, healing item just in case. I should have did that when I first did it, but hey. And I say, hey, hey. Okay, so let's do this. Should we use the self-defense item? Like, is this even good at, at anything? Hey, right, we'll grab this. This is going to be our stuff, our arsenal. Should we save? You know what, we're gonna save. Because boss fight. Crap. Yo, good morning, James. Happy Wednesday. How you doing? You doing all right? So this one came out after Resident Evil 1 Director Cut, or is this the remake? This is the remake. This is Resident Evil 1 Remake. This came out on the Nintendo GameCube. In 2002. I don't remember the month. Seven months later, Resident Evil Zero came out afterwards. Uh, these didn't get port. These didn't get ported to other systems until the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. So they stayed on the GameCube for years. And the director's cut for Resident Evil One, I think, came out either in '97. Resident Evil, the original Resident Evil, saw three different. Four different versions of itself. I think it was three or four different versions. It had Resident Evil, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and then Resident Evil Director's Cut Dual Shock. And I think there's another one, but I I don't I don't remember exactly. But um, yeah, this one this one came out on the GameCube. It was originally in here. It was originally in four by three. It was originally in 4x3 like this. Look at that. You see so much of the screen. Cause you're so what they do is they actually zoom in the picture. So if you actually wanted a better picture of this game, 
you actually want to play in four by three because if you play in 16 by nine they're actually zooming in the image so the noise of objects you'll actually see it worse but we're so used to 16 by nine but um that's why the schneider cuts actually in four by three as well you see more pixels but uh yeah this came out in 2002 i think on the original gamecube i think it was 480 i think it was 480i so i think that's all the game the oh, i'm sorry yeah i think it was 480i I, i'm not sure if the gamecube did p maybe it did but the three the 360 versions it went up the 360 ps3 versions went to 720p and then the ps4 xbox uh, xbox one versions went to 1080p 60 fps and then PC went to 60, 60 FPS as well. And then, yeah. So. But this is how it originally was. Do they just crop the screens off for the PlayStation version? Uh, no. They... Uh, no. It's the... The PlayStation versions have this as well. The zoom in feature. You see the noise? You see the noise on the wall? Like, look at the fr look at the picture frame. It's zoomed in now, so it's it's more noisy. I don't know. Of the the image is more noisy. So it's zoomed out now. So it's less noisy. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's it is. And that's uh. That's what they did. Yeah, so they get so they get the image, they just zoom it in. But what they do to compensate for it is that you can if you ever notice the up the up part and the down part, you can't notice the difference. Yeah, you might not be able to notice the difference, but you, you got to look at like the lead, the edges of the picture frame on the left of Chris and the in the grooves inside. It becomes more pixelated, which is that's what noise is. Um, you'll be able to see like grain and stuff like that. I can see it uh, since it's more close. But what they do, I don't know if they do it in this game, but the bottom, you see how it goes up and down. The screen goes up and down. That's what they do to compensate. So, it's not just one static shot. The screen actually goes slowly, like it's slowly panning up and panning down. See? So, this is what they did. So, since they're zooming in the photo and you're seeing, like, so that means the top part and the bottom part are being cut, are being cut off. So, you can, so you can get the 16 by 9 ratio. But so, how they compensate is it's still there. They're just panning in a lot of rooms. They're panning up and down, so you can see the full image at certain places. See, it's there everywhere. See, in some places it's static, so it does. It's more static, or like it does it here, but it's very, uh, it's very slow, barely anything. So, that's what they do. Uh, you remember the itchy, tasty room? That zombie came out of the closet. There was another zombie that came out from. The side of the screen was that because the screen zoom uh no he was on the ground he was on the ground when you went into that room he wasn't there in the og version but he was on the ground when you went into that room you can actually he doesn't interact with you until the other guy comes out of the closet and it was cut off like it, that that room is two different camera three different camera angles when you go in it's one when you're traveling to the desk it's another one and then when you're at the when you're at the desk, it turns the camera that face the closet. So that room actually has three different camera angles. And the one at the closet is purposely keeping the other guy off screen. So it's all planned. <laughs> it's it's all planned. That's what that's what fixed like a good example of bad fixed camera angles and good fixed camera angles. Is Resident Evil 1 remake compared to Dino Crisis 3. Dino Crisis 3 came out after this game on the Xbox, and it's shit. Uh, the camera angles, it, that fixed camera angles are garbage. 
Now, this is fixed camera angles done good. Like, fixed camera angles, you have to calculate, you know, you have to calculate, like, how do you want the player to feel? What do you want them to see? What do you want them to not see? There, there's a lot of calculation going involved. That becomes, that becomes even harder once you, once we went into the realm of free cam. Because then the players, it becomes up to the players how they kind of want to invoke stuff. Uh, so it, it comes a little bit harder nowadays than it was in the old days. That's why I think fixed camera angles are so cool. Yo, what's up, JD? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. You remember in the OG, we had to have Rebecca come and grab us. but okay. They just seem pretty random to me. <laughs> All right. So they changed up his fight a little bit. He's a little bit more engaging now. It's not just a bullet sponge. And, and they added an up and down section to this area instead of it just being all one flat room. But it didn't really change too much. You can just kind of... That corner is like the best place for you to be. Like we got touched, what, twice? And Rebe and uh, we didn't have... We didn't have um, Rebecca come and do the stuff for us. So... Yeah. And there's two entrances. You can I don't think you can go out this door in the original game. I'm not really sure. Fixed camera angles allow for amazing creative control. They do. <gasps> oh, you scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But Richard, he's gone. Oh no, no. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. You can't save Richard or I would. You can't save him. His death, it is inevitable. Like Thanos. I didn't let him die. I didn't want him to die. I wanted Richard to live. Like, I can't interact with Rebecca. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? So they, okay. So they, they kept this one. And they added an additional one at the mansion, which makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, would you? Or, or unless you can go back inside and have Rebecca heal you up, which I, I don't think I did. Maybe that's actually in the OG Thanks. one. 
Oh no. <laughs> Be strong, Rebecca. <laughs> she looks like she did. She looks like she's on some narcotics. I know. Take care, Chris. I know, Jesus. I know. Good morning, by the way. Happy Wednesday. All right, let's get out of here. This mansion feels like it could be in Bloodborne. It does. Yeah, this place would fit in Bloodborne and easy. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Also, did you notice that he actually called them zombies? They didn't call them zombies in the first game. They called them monsters. But they call them zombies in this game. Hey, what's up, Bubba Fett? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. Are right, we going to pick up these blue herbs just for completionist's sake? And we'll combine this one just to do this. Yo, good morning, cold player. Happy Wednesday to you too. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you guys are all having a nice hump day. Wasn't the first mention of zombies in a note in Resident Evil 2? Uh, maybe. I, honestly, I don't really, uh, I don't really remember. Yeah, maybe. All right, uh, we're going to change some stuff real quick. Since we're here. Let's grab this, put that there. Grab that, put that there. Grab that. Put that there, grab that. Put that there. Uh, hey, happy, good morning to you too, Black Nelson. Hope you're having a nice morning. Happy Wednesday. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't really remember. Honestly. Alright, we'll grab a first aid spray. And we'll do this. I'm tired of looking at this. Alright, down's gonna be our heels. Okay, and up is going to be our, our ammo. So we're going to do handgun. Handgun. Shotgun. Magnum. Condoms. Combat knife. And then... What else we got? Oh, we got the assault shotgun too. And the self-defense gun. All right, in the control room key, because I forgot to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll do... Shotgun, shotgun, this, 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 then this, then this, and then kerosene. No, no, we'll do kerosene, because kerosene has a number in it, and the knife doesn't, and then that looks neat, and then we'll grab the ink ribbons. And then we'll put all items that are necessary for story there, there, there. There we go. Uh, did I get fish tacos yesterday? I actually did not because I overslept. <laughs> I've been getting really, really tired lately. Like, it's been hard for me to stay awake um, for like a normal day. So I overslept and then when I woke up, uh, it was like an hour towards closing time, so I, I didn't. 
Did you? You better have, even though I didn't. Because I'm going to hold you to a higher standard than me. <laughs> That's because you're old? Nah, maybe. 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 Okay, so this is going to be... This is what we're going to do. We're not going to use the handgun anymore. Or at least right for now. We have 16 of these. Does anyone know the actual impact of the self-defense gun? Isn't it just like a normal handgun bullet? I wonder if there's actually an enemy that it's like designed to kill. Alright, we're going to carry both shotguns. I know that's a little dumb, but that's what we're going to do. Because we're going to empty this shotgun first. And then we're going to use the other ones. It's Wednesdays, my dudes. It is. All right, so let's get back. Or actually, let's on the clip first, then run. So uh, it's good against hunters, the self-defense gun, really? I've never used this. Or when I do use it, I never really get like an idea of what it's supposed to be used for. This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Brad. Damn. So they kept the original Brad one in, but then they added an additional one. So that's the third radio call we've heard where the remake only has one or two because you get the one at the end. Uh, what's up, Jello? Art Jello? Happy Wednesday. We could technically use it against the. Oh, you know what? What the? He just absorbed that shit. Oh god. The dude hopped off screen. Bad dog. Holy shit. I don't think we took that much damage though. Damn it. Wait a minute, where's his blood? He ain't got no blood. Suspicious. Suspicious. You did? What did you end up getting, Rencon? I might get them today. Let's see. Oh, see. All right. So you remember the snakes weren't here originally. Like they are in the OG game. But they were at the... When we were on the way to the other place, they were there. So they switched, they kind of like changed up the timing. Because usually they showed up when you went to and from, but now they only showed up when you come back. Should have some doggos here. All right, that should put us in. All right, this is good. Wait. Dude. Okay. Gonna get rid of these guys. And then I think... Oh, is the map for here not right here anymore? I guess not. All right, that's fine, because now we got rid of the, uh, the other shotgun. I don't need it anymore. We can put it away now. I didn't really plan on using it on the dogs in the first place, but you know what? That actually works out. Don't gotta worry about them later. Let's go. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> and then I think we actually get some stuff here, don't we? We do. I think we're gonna have to combine... Yeah, we're gonna have to combine the herbs together. Because we won't have enough inventory. I forgot. I don't think this is in the o original. Because I can't remember. We just played it yesterday, and I don't remember we ever getting items here. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains. That can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to, the, to make sure you can get away. Wesker. What a nice guy. What a, what a nice captain. Looking out for us? Man. 
I wish I had a captain like him. Alright, we didn't get the, we didn't kill the dog here earlier. So if you don't kill him, he despawns, which is nice. So you you can literally just run past this guy. Wesker, I know, right? Him with a screwdriver, just ah, Chris. Damn, look at those HD graphics. Look at that shit. Dude, say what you want, though. I got that. So, in the OG game, these dudes took freaking three shotgun shells to put down. Also, just a little minor change. They had the same cutscene, but when he actually entered into the house, then it went to game graphics where you saw him walking down the corridor. They took that out. Don't know why, but hey, they did. It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved into the doorknob. So, in the OG game, the key that we got from the snake, or, I'm sorry, Plant 42, which is the helmet key, was originally used here, but now it's not. So, they, they changed that up as well. And... You remember that hallway had zombies in it? Now it's gonna have a hunter. We don't want to go in there now. And there's actually no need to go in there anyway. We already got everything in there. OG had... Three hunters in here. And then they got like different colors. Like see like that one that one's like brown. Oh shit. He took more than two shots too. So maybe the maybe the brown color hunters are stronger than the green ones. Yeah, maybe maybe they're stronger than the green ones. And then unlike in in the original, that one never jumped down to the bottom, so that's brand new too. So you remember we killed that one guy and I didn't light him on fire? So since the hunters are now here, he despawns. Which is great. Oh whoops. I messed up my own thing. Are we gonna put this up here? And We'll combine this. That's seven shells. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. We'll use this just to get it out of our inventory. And I think that's enough. Or let me make a mental note. All right, so we got to go to the main hallway. The Richard hallway is done. The hallway over there has a door. Oh, yeah. This Okay, so this key has two uses. We'll bring the shotgun shells. Yeah. Just trying to make sure I got enough inventory. That light, That's Wesker right there. It sure does look like him. Right, is there another one in here? Let's see. Uh, he might be all the way around the corner, though. All the way up here. No, there's only two. Oh, gee, there's three. Two up top, one on bottom. There's only two. Huh. All right, we're going to use the key here. So in the OG, remember this is where you fought Yawn the second time? And you went down the hole. Remember, it literally was just a room that had... The, uh, the piano in it and everything. So now they changed this room completely. Also, that, that painting of the, of the guy being strangled, that was in the OG game. Remember I pointed it out? But yeah, in this, in the OG, this was literally just a room that had a fireplace. All it had was a fireplace. And 
a piano, so they got rid of it. So th this is one of the rooms that changes more drastic than the uh, any other room in the game. Like, this gets a complete makeover. But yeah, this painting was in the OG. I don't know about this one. You can't even see it. You get a dagger. And if you go here, you still got the hole in the wall. But I don't think I want to do it just yet for inventory's sake. Because I don't think we have inventory to get, go in there at all. Mmm, no. Mmm, I mean, it doesn't hurt. I don't know how many zombies are in there. Zombos. Uh, alright. And then where else do we gotta go? Oh, right. We gotta go through this room, too. I totally forgot about this. Right, never mind. There's three doors for this key. The, um... The extra room over here. This one. Forgot about that one. And... So that red room on the right is just an ink ribbon. We gotta go up to the second floor room. All the way over there. I kinda wanna do that first. So that's what we're gonna do first. Then we'll come back and we'll do this. And we also gotta go to the main hallway too. And luckily, since Wesker changed the doorknob, so if we would go, like if we were going like we would go towards Richard, there would, I think there's two hunters in there. But since Wesker changed the, fixed the doorknob, which was not a mechanic in the original game, and since they added the area to be able to, uh, after you pick up the fir the death mask in here, you can go outside since they added that as well. We can use that as a shortcut and just straight up just skip them, which is so nice. <laughs> I think you end up skipping like three hunters, which is great. We can just do this instead. And be like, see ya. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Aka makes Wesker look like an upstanding citizen? What? I still stand by and say that this is probably one of the worst looking areas in the game. Like, it just... You can definitely tell they got a sharp a sharpness filter on to Galora, because the detail right here is just gone. It's all jumbled together. And the, and the steps, you can barely see it. Like, this grass right here stands out more than the freaking steps do. Because it's added on to the, the image. And this is sadly one of the worst looking areas in the remake, sadly. It must have looked it must have been really hard to to save that one. Alright, so here we go upstairs. Right? Yes. And there should be two hunters in here. One on each side. Yep. They didn't do that whole like stop and screech thing either in the, in the original game either. They just chased you. So that's brand new too. And there should be two in here as well. No, there's not. All right, so one of the keys is right here. And then, so you remember, you remember in the OG version, this was the keypad door, right? And uh, I never figured out how you actually got the keypad for Chris. But you remember we got the keypad for waiting for Barry to drop the rope? Well, it's a, it's in the new area. So it's, I mean, this one's actually kind of weird because this did exist, but it's not the same that it was in the OG. Like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like, on the map, it's kind of weird. Like, the top part where you had the stairs on the left and then the stairs on the right. Like, you can go up and then go... Like, once we go through, and then you can go up and go left or go right. That didn't exist. Your only option in the OG was to go left to a dead end. 
and then go right and go all the way down. That was like your only option. And then the door, the second door didn't exist. So this is, it's a little bit different. They changed it a little bit different in this one. Uh, all right. And then they changed this room just a tad. So in the OG version, you just turned the lights off and then you pushed up the, you pushed up the stairs and you got the the jewel. You got some handgun bullets or you got some, I think if you were Chris, you got magnum bullets, I think. In here. So now they changed it to where you have this rotating falcon and it follows you. And if you let it, it will lock in place. And not let you get the item. So you got to kind of out, like outbeat it. Uh, no, no, no. But before we do that, we're going to do some reading. Uh, my morning's going really good, Anger Kangaroo. How's your morning going? Hope it's going uh, great. And happy Wednesday. Mail to the Chief of Security. Confidential. Uh, Chief of Security. July 22nd, 1998, 2.13. X day is drawing up on us. Execute the following pro uh, procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure the stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated species uh, specimen as samples excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. This one is weird to me. Because it's like a biological... Why would you want to get rid of the tyrant, which is said to be like the most advanced biological weapon? And it's, and it's Wesker's research too. So obviously he's not going to want to dispose of it, right? But this one's weird. Why collect combat data, data on all the other... All the other like... Biological weapons. So the dogs, the hunters, yawn, you know, etc, etc. But not the tyrant. Don't collect any embryos of the tyrant. A tyrant is like so hard to make too. Maybe that's why. I guess maybe they see like it's not cost effective. Maybe that's the reason. Because it's so rare to make one. It has a high rejection rate. So maybe they, I guess they just don't see it uh, as viable. I guess. Ensure the complete disposal of the Arclay Mountains, including all personnel and training uh, and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to the headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report it by the deadline. Report immediately, and in case of emergency situation, report directly to the extension 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc. So it doesn't say white umbrella like it did in the OG version. Because that, that didn't do anything. That was, I guess they didn't want to do anything with that. But they just call it Umbrella Headquarters in this one. Uh, interesting also is... So, you know, Resident Evil Zero doesn't exist yet. It doesn't come out for another seven months at this point. So, ensure the complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and task animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. So, for all we know, since Dr. Marcus doesn't exist, right? Back in 2002. For all we know... Wesker is the one who released the virus and caused all this to make it look like an accident for all we know like it you don't really know at this point or at this point in the storyline with the game's release why like why it happens you have no idea mm, it's good just getting ready for work but how's the RE ventures going it's going really good we were able to finish the OG Resident Evil yesterday uh, we were able to do Chris and Jill's run yesterday, and so now we're doing the remake today. And we'll be doing... We'll probably, if we finish Chris's run today, we're going to be doing um, Jill's run tomorrow. It's been going nice. Oh, I forgot to push this one. Yeah, it's been going uh, real nice. Hmm... 
These are the games that I actually enjoy in the series. So it's not a for me, it's not a slog to play these. But like once we get later into the series, it gets a little bit less exciting for me, I should say. Okay, so you remember in the original one, there was just one, it was the deer head. And it was the, I think, redstone. So you got the blue one from the statue, and then you get the red one in here. So they added a yellow one uh, in the remake. Nice. Are you playing all the REs up to eight? I'm not playing every single RE game that exists, but I am playing a fair amount of them, yeah. Like, we're playing... So the order is going to be Resident Evil... The order is Resident Evil... Uh... Zero. Hey, have a nice day at work, Rencon. Thanks for your coming out to the stream today. Yeah, the order is Resident Evil Zero. Then... Actually, we want to go down here. Yeah. So, we, and we already finished that one. Resident Evil OG 1, which we already did as well. Oh, no. We did, uh, we did that one as well. Now we're doing the remake of one, and we're going to do Chris and Jill. Then we're going to do two, and we're going to do all four scenarios in uh, OG Resident Evil 2. So Claire A, Le uh, well, Leon A, Claire B, and then vice versa, Claire A, Leon B. Then in Remake, we're only going to do either Claire A, Leon B, or whichever one chat votes on. Because the B scenarios in the Remake are not as good. <laughs> they're, they're not that different. So we'll be doing that. And then we'll do three... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I did not know that happens. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you play on expectations from the original game. Am I poisoned? Oh, thank goodness. Does it come back down? Ooh. Yeah, so then we'll be doing Remake 3, and then, o well, OG 3, Remake 3, and then after that, we'll be playing uh, Umbrella Umbrella Chronicles, which is like a railgun shooting game. Then after that, I think we'll be doing Code Veronica. And then I think we'll be doing uh, Dark Side Chronicles after Umbra um, Code Veronica. And then 4, Revelations 1. Five, the DLCs in five, Revelations two, six, and then seven, and then we'll be done. So, so we got a lot of, we got a lot of RE. The only games we're not, the games we won't be playing is Outbreak one and two, because I never, I haven't played Outbreak since. Dude, I haven't played the first Outbreak since the PlayStation 2, and I never played Outbreak 2, even though I wanted to. I never really, I never taken the time to, and I wouldn't want to play. I wouldn't want to play them in the marathon because I don't understand them. I don't have a full understand of them, and we're not gonna play Gaiden. Although I don't think Gaiden's canon anyway. Uh, the only game we won't be playing that is canon is Survivor One. And I guess Dead Aim, we're not going to play Dead Aim, because I don't own it. Or Umbrella Corp in Operation Raccoon City. Okay. Uh, Alright, so then we want to go over here. And then this should use up the key. No, it doesn't. There's another room. Oh, right, the snake room. There's something handwritten. It's not uh, dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can't hide here safely. I can hide here safely for a while. 
because no one knows about the secret behind the painting. Not even Sir Spencer. A painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Nice. Look at that stuff in the tube. You know? mm. uh, yeah, no, I, play, I played the original Outbreak. I, I played and finished it. I just didn't have any money back then. So I was at the mercy of my parents. And, uh... I think I started playing... <laughs> that's around the time I think I started playing a lot of more Xbox than PlayStation 2. So when Outbreak 2 came out, like, I wanted to play it, but I just never did. I've watched people stream it, too. Nice. So this is the room that you would go to in the original game to change your, to, you know, to change your costume. If you beat the game before, you don't do that in here anymore. It's in a different place now. That was in the note that we just read. And we're going to use this just to get it out of there. Oh God, not this. So the jewel now that you normally would use to put in the tiger statue, you now use for this. And you combine it with this to do another puzzle. Uh, shoot 'em up Resident Evils are excellent. Plays this, they are. Yeah, the shoot 'em up Resident Evil games, dude. They are they're underrated. Like they're a lot of they can be a lot of fun, especially if you have a friend to play them with, or if you have a if you have a a Wii if you play them on the Wii or you have a PlayStation Move or I whatever it's called for the PS3. Like they're a lot of fun to play. Playing it on a controller definitely doesn't give it, do it uh, justice, sadly. But finding a PlayStation 9 nowadays is hard. Oh, no. Let's do this. I think that's enough. No, that doesn't work. This one goes here. This one goes here. This one goes... Come on, fit. There we go. Nice. So this didn't exist in the OG at all. This room, all it had was an ink ribbon and a, and a green herb in the OG game. So now this has the key that we need for the Spencer door that we couldn't open, that we normally could. Um, it's funny that the DMC games were supposed to be Resident Evil, but it became its own thing. Yeah, DMC1 was supposed to be, was like a prototype RE4, which when you look at DMC1, that's a crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, no, the B scenarios in the OG actually have more of a difference in the original. Like for instance, in the OG version, it has cutscenes that don't happen in the original. Um, different outcomes happen for different people. In the OG Resident Evil 2, Mr. X is not in the A scenarios. He's not in Claire A or Leon A. He's only in the B scenarios. Um, and Resident Evil 2 Remake, he's in all of them. All four of them. Uh, like the fate of Ada changes in Leon B versus Leon A. Uh, like they 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 didn't do that stuff in the remake too. It's remake too. It's it's all the same, which kind of sucks, you know. All right, there you go. Don't need this anymore. How many inventory we got too? I've played DMC one, two, and four. I played the like the first level of DMC three. Uh oh. Rebecca. Rebecca. Is she upstairs? Yeah, I played. I played DMC three. The first level for like five minutes, two different times. But at that point, I was kind of burnt out on DMC. Like I I played DMC one and DMC two back to back on all their difficulties because I was doing I was trying to get all the achievements in both of the games. And then I think I went to go play DMC3 
and I was burnt out. Oh, you can't go through this door. So then I think a couple years passed by or maybe a year or two passed by and they announced DMC4 was coming to the PlayStation 4, like the special edition or whatever. So that's how I ended up playing DMC4 and then I finished that. I didn't enjoy that as much as I wanted it to. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it that much. Look at him. He's just stalking. Leave her alone. Rebecca. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. You say that after you just got... I can handle myself? You say that after you just... Literally just... Okay. Where is her gun? Resident Evil Zero didn't happen. She's helpless. In the OG game, she didn't have a gun until the very end of the game. Like, she didn't show one until the very, very end of the game. Even though Chris asks her, can you handle a gun? She doesn't have one until, uh, like, when they're in the underground place. It's so weird. That's, like, one of the big... That, that right there is, like, one of the biggest contradictions of Resident Evil Zero. But, I mean, at the same time... At the same time, you do have adrenaline, yes, that's always a thing, and that's and it's very it you know, it affects people in different ways and stuff, right? But I mean she did she, she did just lose Richard just recently, and she's already shown that she's kind of sad. Or she is sad. She lost uh she lost Edward. She saw Edward die. She found out Richard dies. Uh, I think that's the only Bravo team members that she sees dies. I don't think she finds out what happened to Forrest during these events or Kenneth. Maybe, I mean, maybe she sees Kenneth. Kenneth's literally on the first floor. Um. Uh. Give you 24. There's no point of that, Nelson. That is, uh... Hold on, let me, let me collect my thoughts. Uh, Nelson, that's totally not... There's no point of doing that. And obviously you can see I don't welcome that here, so... Take the old 24. You do it again, in 24 hours, you're gone forever. Use your better head. Not funny. Uh, what was I saying? And, I mean, like, she did see, like, she did find out that two of her teammates died. She did, the whole ordeal of Resident Evil Zero was an entire day earlier. And she did, like, do a fuck ton. Right? She did do a fuck ton. She could be tired, for all I know. I mean, who knows? She probably has some drunk water. Eight. I mean, these are all these are all excuses. Full flame. Full excuses. <laughs> it's. I mean, it, it's pretty clear that they just didn't have the idea of zero finalized. Or maybe they did, because it releases seven. It's, it releases seven months from this, from now. You usually go gold three months before, you release your game. So I mean, they probably had the idea, but it, eh, I don't know. I never really thought it was a big deal. I just see a lot of people talk about it. The collection of scientific books, almost all of them are biology related. A collection, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all that's here. No, there's something else. Over here? A collection of thick tomes. Uh, what is it? 
don't see it. She forgot Resident Evil Zero because the that defense system the house has. Oh God! Stop! Stop it! Oh, it's the grenade in the corner. I see it now. God, it, you can barely see it. It's right here. Stop it. Doesn't exist. Okay, so the only place we can go to now is Yawn. We've gone everywhere. Rebecca's not actually the real Rebecca. She's Queen Leech for a brain. Wait, there's an item in that hallway I forgot too? What? Oh, the ink ribbon. Uh, I, yeah, I got you. I love D uh, DMC 5 and 3, which are the best in the series. Yeah, I want to play them someday. I don't know. If, well, I just don't know when I will. But I, I would like to play those someday. But yeah, I, I went back and I played 4. I finished 4, did one playthrough of it, and I didn't enjoy it as much. But when I went back to play 3, I was just burnt out. And I never, re I never really went back to play them. So I I will go back to play them one day. I don't I couldn't tell you when though. But we will play them one day. They're definitely cool. For me, what was the biggest plot hole of these games? I'm willing to forgive the whole leech thing, plot armor, whatever. But the fact that she has no memory bugs me. That's a prequel problem. That's that's a that's a prequel problem right there. Is that when you make a when you make a story that supposedly happens before the first one you actually made, you gotta find a way for it to actually intertwine without feeling like it's, you know, like it, like it, you gotta make it feel like it actually be uh, belongs, which they didn't. They, uh, yeah. That that's the that's the problem with prequels. All right, I think those two are ink ribbons a piece, so we're gonna go. We got one place to go, and so we're gonna bring a healing item. No, we have. No, 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 no. This isn't the other place I have. I have another area to go, and I think I don't even need this key. I think I can leave the key behind. We're gonna leave the key behind. It might be stupid though. Is, is it? Mm... You know what? Fuck it. I'll bring this stupid fucking key. Maybe I'll just bring... Yeah, this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Okay, well, I have to get going for now. Have a good one, everyone in chat. Yeah, Angry Kangaroo. Have a nice Wednesday. Thanks for dropping by to say hi. I'll see you next time. These are made at the same time. I mean, it's still, it's a prequel problem. Still. I don't know if Rebecca can get attacked by... I don't know if uh, Rebecca can get attacked by a hunter in the OG. I'm not really sure. Maybe she can, cause, and that's how you get the, key, the code for the door with Chris. I'm not really sure, but again, it, it's just a prequel problem. They didn't do... They didn't... They didn't... Uh, Include it. You can't see very far into it, though. So this book right here... We don't get this originally right here. We actually get it in the room that we just left, the Spencer room. That's where we originally get this from. So they changed the location. And then this book right here was not in the original. November 29th, 1996. I can't get out. I've tried everything possible, uh, every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've never, I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large giant tubes filled with formaldehyde. Those dark, wet, eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high heel shoe in the corridor. It was like a reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe that they shared the same fate as me. 
No. I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. The next day. I haven't had anything to eat or drink in the past few days and I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. The next day. It was dark and... It was a dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end, but every... Uh, but even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name. George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here. And I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me and may God justi justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. The name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. But where's his body? Well, I guess it decomposed because he's been, he'd be dead for like what? He died in the 60s. That was over 30 years ago. But his skeleton would still be here. Fuck, I forgot about the spiders. So in the OG game, in the OG game, there's no spiders here. Now I'm poisoned. Great. Uh, well, this is fantastic. Dude, George's story is, like, so sad. Oh, that's fine. Shotgun shells. They got the shotgun shells! We gotta hurry. It is so sad. They're, like, totally manipulated. Oh, God, there's another one. Yeah, I could totally pass these up, but... Now I'm, now I'm yellow, aren't I? Oh, I'm not. I can feel myself going the caution. I'm not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You know, we could totally just ran past all of them. Oh, we got a blue herb. Yes. No. No, I fuck. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come around the corner. Two for one. Two for one. Two for one. <laughs> we didn't get two for one, though. Oh, he's going to turn into a crimson head. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. So, they changed this area, like, drastically. The tunnels are kind of the same. But... Like, everything else is just a change. The enemy layout, usually there's enemies like eating each other's ass down here. That dude's gonna turn into a chrism head and we don't care. Not poison anymore. Damn, that poison is actually not that bad. The poison in OG was really bad. That shit worked so fast. Now I can see the handgun bullets right there. They're literally right there. Let me grab him. Oh no, I'm blind as fuck. They're not there. Never mind, don't listen to me. Alright, we picked up all the enemies. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. So you drop down. Huh. You're losing me on your game uh you're losing me on your games here? You playing? What do you mean? Like how fast we're finishing them? Or... I gotta get more inventory, man. I ain't got enough. The heck. 
back. Uh, what's the best course of action? I think the best course of action is this. Yeah, the number one thing they changed was the music. The music got changed three times, two times though. The music got changed from the dual, the, the dual shock. Director's cut dual shock from the OG. Right, we got a hunter here. I don't think so, dude. Yo, Melser, thanks so much for the raid. So it looks like the it looks like the ones these are grayed out. Also, in the OG, this is actually really convenient. So he breaks this door in the remake, which is really nice. So now there's no longer a loading screen to go between these two. Fantastic, beautiful. Uh, that's great. But that doesn't happen in the in the OG at all. So this is actually really nice. So we can just run back to the uh, the box. I haven't played RE in years. Hey, how was Crash Bandicoot? Nope, see ya. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, the original games aren't too long. Like, the... The scenarios aren't too long. We're gonna be going through a whole bunch of uh, the games. Like, the remake games. Or, I'm sorry, the RE games. So... If you look up, like, the beginning of the franchise, that's what we'll be doing. All right, let's do this. Um, all right, so we can put the eagle statue up. We don't need it right now. We can put this up. And so this... You know, we could technically go use that and get rid of it. If we want... If we really, really wanted to. I think we can survive on this many shotgun shells. I have 10. I think we can survive on that many. So we're just gonna bring 10. And I think we get more anyway. Where, where the heck? Oh, I put it right here. All right. Uh, it's going well. I finished the first game and made a keen start in a second. Hey, hell yeah. One sec, my brain's processing data very, very slowly. Okay. Bye. Nice. The second one is what people people generally say is the best Crash Bandicoot game. Although I think 4 is really good. I think Crash Bandicoot 4 can give 2 uh, a fight for its money. But yeah, Bubba, we're going to be like... We're going right now. This is the remake of Resident Evil One. Although for some reason Twitch got rid of that category, then we'll once we finish this, we'll be doing Resident Evil Two and all the way up to seven. And we're doing them in story order. I think the Crimson Head in this room actually stays because I don't think hunters can come in this room. So I, any room that a hunter can get into, if the zombies in there. It's like they kill them, so they despawn. Alright, so we're gonna go here. We're doing this just to get rid of the key item. Or the... The key. Alright, so we no longer need it. Now we're gonna go back to that elevator and go there. So we, we should have five inventory slots. Nice. And then we'll be coming back. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play six. Only ones we're not playing is Survivor 1, Survivor 2, Outbreak 1, Outbreak 2, Umbrella Corp, Operation Raccoon City, and Dead Aim. I don't have Dead Aim, and I've never played it, so I wouldn't want to play it in a marathon setting. And out of all those, Umbrella Corp is canon, but it sucks. Well, we actually don't know how canon it is, really. And Resident Evil 8 will answer that. And then Survivor 1 is canon, uh, but I I don't own it. And so is Outbreak 1 and 2, but I wouldn't want to play those in a marathon setting either. Alright, so we go back down here and take the elevator up. 
Oh, really? There is a... It does do that in Resident Evil 3. When they introduce hunters at the hospital with Carlos. But I don't... Like, outside of game... Like, gameplay-wise? I don't know. Nice. All right, that's two. He didn't get up. Let's use the elevator. But yeah, we'll, we'll be doing all four scenarios of Resident Evil 6. We'll be doing 7 and 7 DLC. The canon DLCs. There should be a zombie here. Yeah, he's not here in the OG at all. And also, there's only one herb in the OG right here. We're going to let that blow up. Nice. All right, sick. Two for one. Grab this, make this one. Should get some shotgun shells, too. Yeah, I, I didn't... I think I know what... I don't know what game you're talking about, Skiver, but I think that is true. In OG, there was a... There was a zombie right here, but he's not here anymore. And if you remember, in OG as well, you could go into this room. But you can't go in here. Norb is bust. The, the knob is busted. So we can't enter that room like we could in the original. There's one around the corner. So they, they actually, there was a zombie here, zombie here, and a zombie down there in the original. They toned this down. They got rid of one zombie. Nice. Just what we need, baby. More shells. Yeah, that fuse was internal. That took forever. Oh, and we got another one. A hey, all right. Got a grenade. And we got the battery. Nice, nice. Sweet. And we got a healing item too. So we could technically go... Technically go, I think. And we got some bullets. I think 18 bullets is enough. Let's see... Since I haven't picked up all the oh, did we not pick we didn't pick up the other herb, did we? No, we didn't. Okay. That's not bad. Alright, we'll take that. And then that's gonna unlock the door to the other area. Which is actually gonna take us to the hunter hallway, which I really don't wanna do. I really don't wanna go down there. So we go through this door. Wait, it's red, though. Oh, we unlocked it. Even if we take a sharp right, there's two hunters right there. I don't want to... I don't want to do that. Not really. You know what? Don't matter what I want to do. Let's do it anyway. Mm -mm -mm. There we go here. I think there's two crimson heads in here because I saw one in the mirror that was not one that we... Not the normal looking one. They're gone. Oh. Ooh. He ain't gone. I don't know how he did not hear me running. Oh, I see one. The goal is to get past them and not get hit. Screech. Ugh, nah, you bitch! <sighs> he had to hit me with a lazy swipe. Alright, crimson head. No! No! There is two of them. Oh shit. Okay. 
So that lets you know that hunters can't come in here. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We should get a healing item in the other room anyway. Should be in caution. Yeah. Yeah, those fucking crimson head hits, they don't play. I think they're either I think they're stronger than hunter hits. Those those dudes don't play. They hurt. Yo, good morning, Fluff. How you doing? There should be a healing item right here. Yes, I remember. Okay, and then we'll mix this together. Happy uh, happy Wednesday, Fluff. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday. And then we'll do this. And let's pray and hope that 18 hand uh, 18 bullets is enough. There's shotgun bullets in here. It's a chair for browsing. We got nine shots. Hey, hell yeah. Nice. Woo. I didn't think nine sh I didn't think that was going to be enough. All right. It was, uh, ten shots. Look how big he is. He's so big. So in this room, it this was not like this at all. You in this room, you like you did the push puzzle. You did the push puzzle to get the uh, the newspaper clippings to get the MOD. You got the second MOD disc or MO disc here. You got the there was an ink ribbon and some handgun bullets, and then you you were able to look out and see the other the underground facility out of a window. That's all you did here. There was, oh yeah, there was a, there was, um, uh, can you do that here? You can't do that here. There was also a locked box that required a lock pick or a small key in this room. So they, they changed this completely. And this used to be like three different rooms and they turned it all in the one room. It's all one big room now. So they, they basically took where you fought Yawn and then just put him on the other side of the map. And then you still can't go out this door. It doesn't look like it'll be open. So you can't open it from either side. So this room got changed as well. It's still a library though. It was a library in the last game as well. Uh, so far I am. I hope you are as well. I am Fluff. Yeah, I am. Thanks. I'm glad to hear you're doing all right. Snake. Oh yeah, and then what's cool is... This window breaks. So this is where he comes from right here. You hear the window break and he comes through this window, which is cool. All right. So now we got, and then we get the wolf medallion, which we normally didn't get. And we got that underground, but now we get it here. So now we got the battery and we need to go back. We need to go back outside now because there's nothing in the mansion except two ink ribbons that we haven't picked up. So now we need to take the battery and the the crank. We need the battery and the crank. And we already killed the dog, so we don't got to worry about the dogs. And then they kind of made the under they made the underground easier in the remake versus the original. In the original, it didn't have a it didn't have an item box at at the ink ribbon place so now they added an item box to make it just so much easier so we're gonna go this way <sighs> mm. 
da, 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 da. Snake. Snake! Are we gonna cut, take the shortcut? Like, you don't even have to go down that dog hallway anymore now that they add, added this. This is so convenient. This is hella convenient. And then just like the original, like, just like the original Resident Evil, man. This game, even on its hardest difficulty, it gives you more than enough ammo to kill anything that moves. You can re revolver ocelot everything in this game. I mean, if you really, 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 really wanted to and kill all zombies and it ex, you know, exhaust all your, your kerosene, you could do it. Which is like the, the saying that, you know, the common saying that you would hear about these games that they don't supply you with enough ammo. Malarkey. Straight up malarkey. And it only gets worse as the series goes on. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we didn't examine the book. Alright, so examine it. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's grab this. Yeah, so for instance... We got 101 handgun bullets. We have 47 shotgun bullets and two shotguns, which in the original game, they didn't have that. So this was added in. Currently we have 12 handgun bull, I mean, magnum bullets. I don't know. I wonder how many magnum shots it would take to kill Jan. We got the self-defense gun. So much kerosene. I haven't even used any of it. We, have, we haven't used it a single time. Like, you get so much ammo. You get so much healing items, too. Like, look at this. I could start a weed dispensary. And that's not even all of them. I haven't even picked them all up. Yo, hey, good morning, Brandon. How you doing? Happy Monday to you, sir. Alright, let's grab this. And we'll do that there. Sorry, right, I gotta do this. OCD. It's not organized. You best believe it's gonna get worse in Resident Evil 4, too. We need the crank. We need the battery. We're gonna leave this. Leave that. Leave that, and then leave that. There we go. And in Resident Evil 1, you can actually get 30 Magnum bullets with Jill, too, before, like, going on your way to the Tyrant. And then with Chris, you can actually get 36. No, with Chris, you can get 42. Uh, there's... So, like, once... My point being is, once you find ammo in this game, do not be scared... Do not be scared to use it. Like, you will get more. There is, I mean, for like one shot zombie kills with the Magnum, you can kill 40 zombies. I don't even think there's 40 zombies in a lot, a lot, like a large portion of the, this game. So you can annihilate people. It's like this in Resident Evil 1. It's like this in Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3, it gets a little bit more scarce, but then the gunpowders make up for it. And then it doesn't really become a problem problem. Until re really, until Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil 6 is the part where you really feel like ammo is scarce. That's because they want you to use the melee moves. And the melee moves are just, ugh. They're just, ugh. All right, we're gonna use this. This is, uh, we're gonna grab some bullets too. Is there a health? Or we could use the other one. Uh, yeah, we'll have this. Which game is this? This is Resident Evil 1 Remake. Welcome back, beef. But what if I fire two bullets into the ceiling as a warning shot for each zombie? Then you'll run out of ammo. 
<laughs> but maybe not. Maybe you won't. Who knows? If they had Aka aim, everyone should have no problems. Sue flexing zombie. It gets ridiculous, man. Direct acid grenade is the strongest weapon in the game besides the rocket launcher. Is it? And too bad Chris doesn't get that. Don't be hating on Jake's, Jake's Fist of Fury. No, I find Jake fun. Like, I, I, I am one of those stands. I honestly find six more enjoyable than seven. I just don't enjoy seven. And I don't like six. But I have more fun playing six than I do seven. And bust, beaten, what are they called? Javalos? J Gelatos? Beating up gelatos in, in Resident Evil 6 is Jake. It's pretty fun. Even though Jake himself is kind of weird. Javavo gelato. 7 feels too much like found footage rather than actually spooky. I just, I don't like it. I don't like first person. I don't, I just don't like first person RE. Or, oh no, I'm an idiot. I'm not supposed to do that yet. I, oops. No, I, I think my, I think the bit, I think the problem I have is that I don't like the fact that there's like the bad guy is not really the bad guy. I think that's what I don't like about RE7. Like the bakers are just, they're not even evil. I don't want to really be fighting them. And then I don't care about Ethan at all. Ethan's so uninteresting. And I don't even like them. You can say like these guys don't have personalities either, but at least like I find them interesting. I personally don't find Ethan interesting at all. Am I poisoned? Really good. I, I don't know. My favorite, I have to say my favorite character is Joe, is Joe Baker. Like, Joe Baker is probably my favorite character in the game. The play as and... But I didn't like, I mean, Eveline, she's a victim. Like, Evie's a victim. The only real bad person is the company and Lucas. Like, they're the only real bad people. So, I don't know. Didn't, didn't, nah, it just wasn't for me. Hopefully, eight is, hopefully, eight, I find eight more appealing. That's what I'm hoping. Which, it looks more appealing. So far. Think about these guys as they develop personalities over three. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, no, that that's absolutely true. It was the first game with Ethan. And yeah, and these guys have like so many games to them. And I think that's also another reason why I don't like it is because I, I, I don't want to play as them. I want to play as someone that I already know. I think that's another reason. But then again, that doesn't make, like, I don't mind Jake. But maybe, maybe that has to do with the fact that he's related to Wesker and I like Wesker. Maybe. But then I liked Helena. I thought Helena was fine. I, I mean, I didn't really care for Chris's campaign. But I think Pierce, for what he is, is okay. Hell, I even like Parker in, Re in Revelation. But I don't know. The redhead guy in Revelations, though? Not so much. Redhead guy in Revelations is whatever. What's her name? Jessica? In Revelations? Whatever, too. Is this the remake of the original? It is New Moon, yeah. This originally came out on the GameCube in 2002. Okay, so that door was there in the original. This got overhauled. You remember in the OG, the walls were like yellow? This got completely overhauled. So, and this is what I'm talking about. They added a, um, they added a item box down here that was not in the OG. And they also give you an ink ribbon, which is also not in the OG. And they added that herb right there that was not in the OG as well. 
So, yeah, I thought Chris and Pierce were not bad. But what they do in the campaign is a little, you know, for what I, I think Resident Evil is, is a little bit jump the shark. But I don't think the, them themselves is bad. I think I find them enjoyable. And I mean, I, I found Sherry enjoyable, too. The only one I think I didn't find enjoyable in sex is Simmons. Yeah, it's, I think Simmons. I, I don't think Carla is like that high on my list, but I, in, in comparison to Simmons, she makes Simmons look like trash. A large boulder blocks the way. Gotta run. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait. Does it not do it right here? I guess not. Hmm. They'll take Chris and Pierce Armageddon ending over Texas Chainsaw Massacre any day of the week. Simmons is amazing. He's a transformer. Yeah, him transforming into ultimate weapon from Final Fantasy 7 and 8 is great. And then he turns into the fly. That's even fantastic. That's more fantastic. Like Simmons. <laughs> Simmons is stupid. <laughs> Is he a dog? Is he a giraffe? Is he a horse? No, he's a, yeah, and then he's a freaking T-Rex. Yes. He's a stupid T- Oh my god. Like, that is just so dumb. Simmons was just, ugh. Uh, that's just, ugh. He's just, ugh. Yeah, Jack Baker is actually, like, his- Fighting him, he's fine. Marguerite is definitely a creepy boss, for sure. Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? <sighs> Double crosser. Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! Um, well. Uh... Enrico! Enrico! You deserve Double crosser. You deserved more than this. Like, I want to know how Enrico got here. Right through the heart, too. Ouch. Killed him? Who could it be? Wait, he's holding something. Enrico also has a different voice actor in Resident Evil Zero. As well, like he, he, then this guy right here, which is kind of strange. Enrico's dialogue in the original was better. It was, yeah, no, it was. Rebecca's wears a bulletproof vest, but he doesn't. Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. Okay, he had armor-piercing rounds, for all we know. Okay, that's look. We're not going down this can of worms. What? Should be another one. Uh. Oh my God, Lynch! Yo, thank you for the four gifted subs, dude. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, if you were, uh, if you got a gifted sub from Lynch, please, uh, be so kind to, uh, say thank you. Yo, thank, uh, welcome, welcome back, uh, Soka and Beef for four months and 16 months, and welcome Zeki and Cult of Terra Tufia. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I'm so sorry. Yo, welcome for your first month, I hope you guys all enjoy the emotes. Yo, Lynch, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the four gifted subs, thanks for the support. 
I appreciate it. No, four. Wait, is he getting up? He's not. Yeah, we're not going to talk about the bulletproof vest stuff. Okay. Does not matter. Would be fun if you kill every single biohazard thing in the, and then get an alternative ending that Umbrella just moved back into Silent Stars. Yawn would require 10 to 79 magnum rounds to kill according to the official 2002 guide. What the? That's ridiculous. Wait, we got the crank. We go this way? Yeah, thanks for the support, man. I appreciate it. But you're, you're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. The other one should be... No. Both dead now. I really love this design for the hunter. They look so cool. They look so cool. Although I do think that the hunter design in Resident Evil 3 Remake is pretty fucking cool too. That is like one part of the game that I do not have a problem with. In fact, I was saying, even before the game came out, if they could find a way, if they could find a way to make the hunters work in Resident Evil, in, in Resident Evil 3, they could definitely find a way to make the Velociraptors in Dino Crisis work. Therefore, the possibility of them actually making a Dino Crisis remake is possible. And they did. But that'll never happen. Because no one cares about Dino Crisis. Alright, we're going to put this back in the box. Because I don't think... Uh, I don't think we need it. Can you do the thing with Black Tiger to get him to destroy the wall like you can in Resident Evil Zero? Or Resident Evil 1? I wonder if I should use the Magnum too. I mean, not the Magnum, the uh... I guess only one way to find out. Do I need the, the crank? <laughs> No four, Lynch. Oh, this thing. The flamethrower. Sure, why not? <laughs> so Joe gets a grenade launcher and Chris gets a flamethrower for one section. Get out. The other heat. Got more shotgun shells. Nice, nice. Wait, so originally you either got the MOD disc or you got. Oh no, no. Chris got Magnum rounds here. He got Magnum rounds here. And then in the next one, he either got the emblem or he got the MO disc. I don't remember. Alright, is the hunter gonna show up? No hunter. Mm, no hunter. Okay. The flame, the flamethrower does look awesome. It does look cool. His theme is cool. Dun. What the fuck? I would be so fucking weirded out, dude. Oh my god! No. Did that just kill him? <laughs> what? He's dead. Dude, that was so fast. Holy shit, I need I could Wow, he just dude, he just puked on his dad or mom. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah, 
Yeah, reach him. No, 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 no. Yeah, you better back up. Ugh. What the? Uh oh. Oh, I'm out. Oh, shit. All right, I'm done playing with you. Bye. Later. I didn't realize my health was that low. Holy crap. Yeah, the music is better on the scene this time. Let's see. Do you got a... Would you like to set the flamethrower? Yes. And then that's it. Chris gets a flamethrower for all one section, and that's it. Oh, they took his... Oh, okay. So he had a... um. He had a inventory box here, but they took it away. So this is where he would have one. Hmm. I did not know that. I totally forgot. So we're actually going to have to go back. Hopefully we don't get hit by that snake. All right, spider. Let's keep going. This spider had a fucked up relationship. We haven't talked about the remake, uh, the remade music. I mean, in general, it's because the remake music is just, it's... To me, it's uncomparable. It's like the you, like I can't compare the dialogue in this game and the music in in, uh, in Resident Evil Dual Shock Director Cut. It's uncomparable. The dialogue in Resident Evil One is atrociously bad that it's hilarious. It's it's so bad and doesn't fit the narrative at all that it's great. So and this is dead serious, right? So it's it's like two different tones. Like they're they're actually trying in this to make it serious, and it, it works. Like it, it works. It's like it's music. It's or it's lack of music. Or like right now, there's no actual music. It's just ambience. Just you know, that's it. Like it works. It it's a master class. <laughs> Where in like Resident Evil Dual Shock, they had just music that just sound like it didn't fit at all it sound like ditzy like ditzy music that just did not fit at all so this save room music is really good Also, that tiger act oh well, that tiger that uh that spider gets a better that spider gets a better introduction than the other one the other one doesn't get a good introduction and then the OG OG he just he's just there Chris. All right, what do we got here? Oh, no disc. Healing items. That's all that's here? I guess that's all that's here. Now, I don't think this room changes at all. Oh, no. But they did change the room that we actually just came out of. Because you remember there was an elevator going up? They, they took it away. It doesn't exist anymore. I forgot about that. So, this is somewhat different, but it's the same idea. But one thing that is drastically different is they... They actually color-coded color the wall, the spot on the wall that you have to push the statue. Where in the original, you just had to guess. So now you actually get to see the the actual spot. And then they added this like little turning thing. Because normally in the in the original, you would just push it like where he's standing, like right here, there'd be a little vent. 
or a switch. They got rid of that. It doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna play it when it comes out, yeah. Day one do. I might not I might not play Resident Evil games like as much as I used to, but I grew up on Resident Evil. This series has I mean, there's no there's no denying it. The series for me has not been what I would want it to be in the last couple entries, but I mean that doesn't matter. So but I'm I'm still a fan. And I cling on to the glory or my glory days of RE favorites. Like one through three. So yeah, I hope so. I'm hoping that my biggest hope is that Ethan dies. And that we get another returning character that's not Chris. I'm hoping that like Jill shows up. That's my big That's my big wish list. I will be shocked if they kill Chris, but then at, at the same time, I won't be shocked because it seems like that's a, a possibility. But I would love to see a reoccurring character that's not just Chris, because Chris showed up in the last game and Chris is now in this game. And there hasn't been a reoccurring character in the continuum since 2013, which was when Resident Evil 6 took place. All right, so yeah, in the original game, when you entered this door, this door was like this, right? But over here was the elevator that you would go up to once you got the, once you did that and you would you would go up in there. They took that out. You want Rebecca to come back? I honestly, she's one of the characters I think that's finished. Outside of like using Claire, Claire is another one to me in, in games. Outside of using Claire in animation, I feel like Claire's finished too. I feel like Jill's finished as well. It's just something that I, I would like to have. And it, it definitely like... Five through six was definitely Capcom having a hard on for Chris and Leon. That's all we got. Okay, so now we can put these up. I don't think we need them anymore. And let's check this. You won't mind? I wouldn't mind Leon either. Not really. I enjoy Leon too. I would just like to see someone that's not just Chris. Because we already got Chris in Resident Evil 7. Unless they're, like, making Chris the, like, the guy. You know what I mean? Like, he's the, he's the guy. The only guy. Uh. I mean, their, their characters are getting older. Like, Chris is in his... Chris is getting... He's 46, 48. He's going to be, uh, because Resident Evil always takes place, most of the games take place the release year. So... Oh, that's Yawn. Oh, okay, that's the knife. Um, so like, yeah, uh, it's most likely going to take place in 2021. So Chris will be like 46, 48. I, I don't remember the specifics. So people are only going to be getting older. Wait, what is that on the floor? What is this? Oh shit, I missed this the first time. Is that what's... Oh no, that's not it. Okay. And then, like, I mean, the hypothetical Resident Evil 9, right? Say hypothetical Resident Evil 9. Say Chris doesn't die. He's most likely going to be in his 50. Everyone's going to be like... Everyone's only getting older. Like, they're only getting older. So eventually, they're, they're, they're going to get to, like, retirement age eventually. Let's see. Spin. Spin. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. I think he's, like, 40-something. Chris is going to be, like, 60 years old. 
Still fighting BOWs. I mean, you got Barry, but Barry's retired, right? You know, like Bar Barry's retired. Four, two, three, one. Looks like the power's been restored. You can be playable at 50 like a Kratos and Old Snake. But Old Snake needed Old Snake needed a suit. If he didn't have that suit, he was worthless. Sad sadly enough, he was worthless. And Kratos, Kratos is a god. There's an elevator switch. Press it. Yes. So this whole area right here was not in the OG. This is completely new. For the remake. Kratos is like 150 or something. He's like suit. He's really old. And he has the body of like a 40 year old. Barry may be retired. Now, now Barry still kicks ass. Absolutely. To be around the age of 50 and still moving like they're in their 20s is something true. That's that's very true. Oh no, we won't. We don't want to be here just yet. I don't think so. <laughs> Boy. So they're gonna be ne next bills. I, I like. I wonder what's gonna happen. Is Leon gonna chase Ada until they're like 80 years old? Is Ada gonna be like whipping Leon around the nursing home? Ashley's still gonna be waiting for her overtime in her like her 60s okay yeah Leon could do better he could he could actually go for someone who's actually into him but then again he tried to go after Hunnigan and Hunnigan said may I remind you that you are still on, on you're still on duty Uh oh. So this part right here is completely new. Ah, shit. I get lost. I want this plot, this plot so bad. Leon and Ada. Oh, in the nursing home? Dude, I'm telling you. He's been chasing her for like 20 years. It's like 20 something years he's been chasing her. What was it? 1998 to. Well, okay, not 20 years. Not exactly, but. It's been like 15 years. It's been actually 15 years. Liter <laughs> Ada, wait. Seriously. This device is for transporting materials. Leon's gonna chase her until he either smashes or die trying. Probably! And that's probably all they thought thought of. That's probably all they thought of at all. Ada knows how to play her cards right. She's playing him like a fiddle. She has him wrapped around her fingers. As much as uh, as much as we don't like her. There's also Ashley from Resident Evil 4 that legit offers him ass. And he says no. I mean, she is young, though. That's... He is... Old. I don't know how... I wonder how old he is by time... No, Resident Evil 4. I think he's like 21, right? He's like 21, and 21, 22 in Resident Evil, right? Two? So, he's like 20... Wait, he's 26, 28 in Resident Evil 4, right? Maybe Leon doesn't like young women. Maybe, maybe he, maybe he doesn't like young women. Ah, fuck. I'm fine.
Maybe he only likes Asian women. Just another Tuesday at Raccoon Acres Retirement. <laughs> Oh, wait. It's broken. It's broken. Mother issues. Oh, does he have... No, he doesn't have mother issues. No, not Leon. All right, we got 18 Magnum bullets. That's a lot of Magnum bullets. All right, let's grab a green herb, and then we'll make another healing item that we don't need. Just cause, just to show you how many you can make. There you go. In fact, I got one green herb up here that's out of place. Grab that. There we go. And then we gotta go back here. Maybe Hunnigan got asked again really on off duty. Maybe. Who knows? If Leon, I, I wonder if Hunnigan's gonna be in the next game with Leon. I mean, cause so far she has been. She, not only that, she was in the, she was in Resident Evil 6, she was in Resident Evil 4, and she was also in Resident Evil Degeneration. I don't know if she was in Resident Evil Vendetta because I haven't watched it yet. I should watch that today, actually. But, hey. A garbage compactor. Maybe she'll be in the next game Leon shows up. This gives me PTSD from the stupid thing in Code Veronica that can smash you dead. You know what I'm talking about? I've been crushed by that thing too many times and I always get worried about it. Every time. Let's see. But then they also, so I haven't really been keeping up with the Resident Evil news for like the live action stuff or the the TV shows and the movies, but they have like Claire and Leon, right? She's, they're, they're in the, um, is it the TV show or the movie? And then, all right, I don't remember where this is. Is it back here? I think it is. Got enough time. On. I think she's right there. Nice. Later, Lisa. And then they they have like a live don't they have like a live action movie and then like a, a TV show and then something else? This place is creepy. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. Ugh. This place is weird. Okay. Uh, I think we saw a photo. Right? It looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. Jewelry box. There we go. Got a stone ring. A family picture and notes. Oh man, this sucks. That's Lisa, Jessica, and George. Man. Something's written on the back of the... Written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administrated. Jessica. Administrated virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissues during cell activation. Fusion negative. Action disposed. Damn. Just threw her away like she was trash. Lisa. Administrated virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissues during cells activations. 
F uh, virus fusion positive but delayed fusion body modification observed constant results status continue uh, protective observation george action term uh terminated november 30th 1967 there's a journal left by someone november 14th 1967 so this is 16 days before george dies i feel dizzy after the shot they gave me i don't see mom where did they take me take her she promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? The next day, I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attached her face to me so she doesn't go and uh, doesn't go away because mom's sad when I meet her without a face. Two days later, only or maybe I think from inside box scent of mommy, maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurt. Steel rods in the way. I can't see mother because of four stones. She's talking about the uh, the place. Jesus, dude. That escalated quickly. That did. Two days? And she's dead. Like, you know. Jeez. Alright, we don't need that blue herb. We're fine. Get the hell out of here. This place is just all weird. I have to believe that Hunnigan was meant to be playable at some point. Sheva's business attire is Hunnigan's outfit. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Sheva's another character that I was surprised that hasn't made a comeback. To be honest. Okay, let's grab the metal object. Let's fuse these together. And let's grab... Alright, we got 18 shot magnum rounds. Are we ever going to use them? I think this is like now the best time to use them. Right? When are we ever going to use them? Or should I save them? Maybe I should use my 46 shotgun bullets. Sure, why not? Ari has not been kind to its characters. Which one? You mean like... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, they've, like, a lot of characters... They constantly make new ones and forget about the old ones. Like, I know a lot... I know there's, like, some people saying Billy should come back. I personally don't believe that, because... I mean, some characters are more... More capable than others, or have... Their story arc finishes. But, like, literally, Sheva is part of the BSAA. She's just a different branch of the BSAA. She does exactly what Chris does. Same with Josh. I mean, hell, even Carlos. Like, Carlos has a reason for wanting revenge on people that literally used him as combat data. Like, he would have a reason to want to stick it to Umbrella and I mean, become a BSAA member. Shit. And he just, and you know, he wasn't a terrible person. He just wanted to save people. So. Like, I felt like underutilizing Carlos as well is, was a terrible idea. Like, they, they could have brought him back as well. Yo, hey, Soka. How you doing? How's it going? Happy Wednesday. Like, there's a lot of characters that have the possibility of coming back that just don't get used. You want the funny duo of Revelations? I don't even know their names. You want those two clowns? Oh, God. Of course you do. Those... Oh, man. Although Conan o, uh, the O'Brien actually has a reference in Resident Evil 7 on a book.
What do I put in the jewelry box? You put the red ruby. What time did I start streaming? Uh, two. Hey, those two clowns survived invisible hunters. You're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. Oh, God. Why oh, you gotta remind me? Da, da, da. Oh, don't worry about that, Soka. I just hope that your stress goes away. No worries that you can't be here. Yeah, I hope that your stress goes away and whatever... Whatever is bothering you is able to solve itself and get out of your, you know. And you go back to stress-free time. I wonder what's on the other side of this door. The twin emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it? Yes. Wasn't it like a grinder or something? Uh, no problem, silent screams. And you're right, you're right, Brandon, by the way. This is so unconventional, though. You gotta go down to the inventory box to go back up the save. This is so unconventional. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, but you would think the inventory box would be here. And then, the, you know, like, I'm gonna save just here, just in case. Yeah. Oh, Keith. Oh, there you go. Keith and Quint, thank you. Those dudes are ridiculous. All right, we're gonna use the shotgun. Cause we got so many bullets. Have I slept? No, I wake up and stream and then I go to work. I wake up like 15 minutes, like 10 minutes before I stream and go to work afterwards. Thanks, I got many shifts at work and got less time for everything, but this week has gotten... You got plenty of free time? Hell yeah. You enjoy that r, &R time. You earned it. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. You're a bit of a mess up. He says. Interesting phrase. enough time. Hey! That was clean. Is that George? No, that creature is Lisa, his daughter. I'll investigate this area. A little further. Well, basically what happens is Spencer contracts George to make the mansion and involving all of the, you know, this. He makes all of this. The underground laboratory, the, se the hidden secrets, everything. But then after he's finished contracting, uh, after it's finished, he basically plans to kill him. So all the secrets are with Spencer. So then what he ends up doing is he invites his family here. They don't know what's going on. And then he uses his family as guinea pigs. Wesker's got this place covered. Better hurry on ahead. So he's... It's all fucked. Oh. Hey, have a great day, Rain. Have a nice time at work. I forgot to bring the books. Shit. Gotta go get the books. 
Yeah, thanks for being here. Hope you have a nice time at work. You have a great day, too. That was weird. That is weird. Yeah, Lisa is a little weird. Hmm, wait. Yeah, we don't we don't actually ever physically see George. I don't believe so. In any RE in any RE representation. I don't think we ever see George. We only ever we only ever hear about him. Alright, so we're gonna grab the emblems. Which are these? And we got 40 shotgun shells. <laughs> which is ridiculous. What do you think about it? And I think I used six on Lisa right there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I gotta say, some of the set pieces have aged better than Resident Evil 4 set pieces. Some of the set pieces in 4 look really bad. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, something else. Family picture. It's a letter. To my dear Lisa, day by day I feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by the men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, mommy can... Uh, mommy can think straight, but mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like and how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into some, into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I could hold on to our wonderful memories of you and daddy. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we both go to the lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious and when the men in white and clothes is off guard, that is our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie, be strong. November 13th, 1967. Hmm. Ouch. That sucks. This whole family is just guinea pigs. They got some really dark and depressing notes in these early games, man. Oh my goodness. They're so dark and depressing. Okay, let's go here. And this hasn't really changed much. The camera angles did. But the idea is pretty much the same. You gotta admit, this is a really hidden laboratory though right here. Look at that. Look at them HD graphics. Woo! Look at that. God damn. You know, that nowadays they could probably use AI rendering to make that look so much better. Nowadays. And we got another ladder. Okay. Cause I've seen I've seen people take like old Mortal Kombat intros from like the old games and turn them into like make them like extremely good. Alright, let's grab this. And let's put up the first eighth spray. <laughs> this just the amount of healing in this game is insane, man. I swear. 
It's it's, it's insane. The amount of healing is just ridiculous. I got so much. All right. Oh, we got some kerosene. A one. Should be a guy over here. Two. God damn, all of them had their head blown off. Damn. All right, we got ammo disc number two. Ah, I'm right. I should have grabbed the other one, shouldn't I have? Mm, that's actually fantastic that all their head explodes. No, oh, should we? Ah, I think we're fine. You're so good that I don't have to use them? No, it's just... No, not really. I mean, I used them earlier. It's just... At, there comes a point where the game gives you so much ammunition that you can safely kill everything. You don't have to worry about stuff. They supply you, if you take the time to search and stuff, they give you so much resources that you'll barely take. I mean, like this, look. We have so many healing items, and look. Got another one. They just give you so much. This one's locked, right? Yeah. Like, I, I have a hundred handgun bullets. Just chilling. In the OG, you actually pick up 15 handgun bullets in this room, too. I don't know if you do it in this one. Okay. Researcher's letter. Uh, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today. And as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason. Just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything to not have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely, I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it, it, but it, but if it has turned out that you are now the last remaining, last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system. They didn't call it that in the first game. In the power room. And escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole incident public. If anything is... Uh, if everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the system's locks using the security system. I have set up a terminal in the small security room so that you can log in to the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement in level two where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that passcode into the x-ray pictures, and I don't even know how to pronounce that word, Reninginogram. I know you and I, I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Mmm. John Ada. So they changed this. This is now different. It's changed from the biblical picture to the the uh the intestines a memo on the message board catches your attention lungs esophagus liver stomach large intestines small intestines colon there's something scrawled on the notepad to use the electronic door place the initials in alphabetical order okay Ront genogram. I say it right. So this is uh, A B. There's a name. 
All right, so we got this one, right? CD, Clark David. Hey, Clark David. Hey, good morning, crazy old gamer. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're having a nice Wednesday so far. Let's do this. All right, this one is Ed Foster. All right, where's the light switch? And the colon is lighting up. So C. The esophagus, E. The liver, L. The lungs, L. So the password is cell. It went from mole to cell. I wonder why cell though. Because the cell, the virus takes over your cells. Yeah, good morning, crazy old gamer. Hope you're having a nice morning. Nice. Got a self-defense item. Is that the only thing here? It's the only thing here. It's locked. All right. Cell games? <laughs> Dude, so John was a DVZ fan? Is that it? This is his favorite, his favorite arc in DVZ, huh? They changed it. The computer used to be right here. So they moved it. Oh, God. You can see the intestines right there. Uh. What's this? The V Act research note. I think this is completely new. There is now. Oh, yeah, this is completely new. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutates in it into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After, after transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died trying to feed it, turning the place into an, an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic barbaric uh, incident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precise prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We have finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. So that crimson head that we fought to get the, to get out of the, the mansion was the one that killed the doctors down here. All right, so John... And then Ada. Verified! Basement 3. And then, then, uh... I like how they give you a photo. And then basement 2 is cell. Permission granted. Nice. Do you find the donut in here? There's still an item in here, right? We got another healing item. There's still another heal uh, item in here. A yeah, hand grenade. Or flash grenade. Oh, that's it. So it's... Oh, it's not an actual hand... It's a hand grenade. It's a flash grenade. Oh, let's take a look at this. Uh, look at that. Uh, the cat virus are frozen and, and wrapped in body bags. Uh, gross.
What up, my man? He's one of the only ones that did not die. VA decapitation. Great. Alright, so we go over here. Uh, let's examine this. It's it's a it's one green herb. <laughs> we got one green herb. What's this? Two green herbs. Uh, ah, 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 ah. I don't think I got enough inventory to be honest. I guess we'll find out. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Shit. Well, you know what? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. All right, so that's the second disc. So we got all three. No, that's the third disc, actually. We got all three discs. There's a map of the laboratory. Take it. Yeah. You got the map. I think there's... Oh, more shotgun shells. Because, of course, we need those. 38 is not enough. Security protocol. Level 1. Helicopter uh, slash forward executive use only. They changed this. In the original game, it said executive and government officials. This, restrict, uh, this restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement floor level 1. Passenger to... Uh, passenger to... Passage to heliport slash entry is prohibited unless accompanied by... Consultant, researcher, or chief of security. Unauthorized personnel, persons uh, entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator slash uh, elevator slash the elevator stops during emergencies. The vi uh, basement level two. The visual data room for use by the special research division only. All others, all other access to the visual data room must be made clear by Keith Irving, the room manager. Basement level three, prison slash sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if the virus, if virus use is authorized. Triple lock doors. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the locks with all of the passcodes. A uh, accessing the the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. Uh, in this room, nitro compounds is used as a primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with specialized authorization. Passcode uh, uh, output terminals. Use and access of the output, output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers in basement level four. Regarding the progress of Tyrant, after the administration of the T-virus, illegible hereafter. Huh? Where's the donut? A film has been set in place. View? Umbrella, organic weapon official report. The Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Tyrant. So since we don't see... Since we don't see, uh... Uh, Yawn or Black Tiger, it makes me wonder if they are just byproducts of the virus just getting out and not actually designed to be, uh, weapons. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. Damn, this shows humans are dangerous uh, dangerous to themselves. Pretty much. I mean, when you got Albert Westgard and Laura Laura Bush 
I, I don't got a joke on what these people look like. I can't really... I can't really come up with lookalikes for all these people. The guy in the back on the right, you can't even see his face. He could literally be anyone. Eight three four one seven zero six two three. Eight. That's for this, right? The Pasco terminal used. What's up, DJ? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. Um. Don't we have to like? We have to like change the lighting, right? Something like that? I think so. Eight, six, four, two. Error. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta light it up, because it, uh, it opens up this door. Uh, everything else? We grab everything else we can in here? Kind of, sort of. The guy in the middle looks like a nerdy jet black. Think so? Think so? Hmm, I'm not too sure. Is that Harrison Ford on the left? You know, I'll go back and take a look. The only one I got is Laura Bush, the girl. That's the only one I got. The guy, the, the fourth guy could be literally anyone. The first guy, I don't know. That, that first guy, he's... He looks Hispanic to me. All right, let's do this. All right, we got 24 Magnum bullets. That's a lot of bullets. Um, we got three deaths. Do we need... We're gonna grab the kerosene real quick. Because I want to go burn that guy's body before he becomes a problem. It's a lot of magnum bullets. It's a lot of magnum bullets. He's not a zombie. He's not. Well, we're gonna use the kerosene. There it is. <laughs> and I got hit. He's dead. Dead. Like, we can't open this door, can we? No, we can't. We need a key. Is this door open? Yeah, it's locked as well. Yeah. So I gotta go down the hallway room. Which, that room should have a MOD disc in. Or a GameCube. Should have a GameCube. This one should be open. There we go. That's all. It is a lot of bullets. I think we need like nine for the tyrant. Juicy. And we just got six more. Ah, there it is. It's right here. So they changed where it is. In the other room, it's in the computer. In the OG, it's in the computer room. And also in the OG, there was three guys. And in this one, there's only one. All right, we put it in the GameCube. Yeah, and then in the original, you got a passcode, or like a, you got a biblical phrase. In this game, you don't. Facts. To the sanitation division, manager of sanitation, raccoon disaster contingency committee. The content, uh, contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name for the name addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third parties is strictly for forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. 
We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several uh, concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all the survivors of this incident are showing symptoms of T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most uh, secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are, dema are, are demanded to prevent, pa uh, prevent mass media coverage. So we see a lot of these guys over at the facility that Marcus takes place in. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research. Success. Our results. Yay! Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official uh, intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. So they changed that around a little bit. Because in the original game, it talked about how they were surprised that they were intervening so fast. So they changed that around a little bit. OG stands for other game. It could. Here we can put the kerosene up now because we won't need it anymore. Honestly, we could probably just toot around the magnum and just one shot kill all all enemies with the magnum at this point. It's probably just taking too long to do the shotgun. Am I the only one who has a problem with people eating cake out of a cup? Uh, who eats cake out of a cup in the first place? Ah, uh, so it's this game that does it. You said Harrison Ford? I don't see it. I don't see Harrison Ford. Maybe. Mmm, I don't see Harrison Ford. So, no, I don't see it. Maybe a bit. Hmm, on the the, the guy on the left, around the eyes. No, definitely around the eyes for sure. No, I I give you that. Yeah, absolutely. It's the mustache, like the lip air the the lip area. It doesn't look like Harrison Ford to me. I got no clue for the guy in the middle. The guy in the middle, I got no clue. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even think I've seen people that look like him, to be honest. Or someone that looks like him. I don't, I don't think so. Is Wesker always wearing sunglasses? Yes. 8462. That's why I think this is the passcode in Resident Evil Zero. Is the passcode in Resident Evil this game? 8462. Oh, okay. So we got the key to open up the laboratory doors. But also, this was not in the original game. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. Get away from me! No! Hey! No! No! Kind of pointless if you ask me. Not gonna lie, but you know what? It's there. Actually, that's not true. He doesn't get the he he actually doesn't get his infected eyes until um until after. Until the at like after he gets stabbed by the tyrant. So he do he does. He gets an experimental virus from Birkin. 
sometime. We don't know when. But he like this this is recent, like very recent. And he planned he planned to be stabbed and killed by the tyrant. That was all part of the plan. Liar. I mean it's I mean it's not true. It's not it's not true, but it is a good guess. I must have been the one shooting the movie. Uh-huh. Although he is a he was created though. Like he's not a he's not a typical human. You know, he he was manufactured. Which is a part of the storyline, like a useless part of the storyline that goes nowhere. Yeah, Wesker planned to be impaled. Yeah. That was all part of the plan. Because you have to die for the virus to take your body over. Right? You have to die. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that line. <laughs> I still love the fact that Chris laughs at him and he's like, stop it. Stop laughing at me. I got enough of this in high school, Chris. Stop my feeling. Uh, you used the laboratory key. Oh, wow, it doesn't... That's not it? Really? Use it here, too? It's rusted shut. Oh, you probably used it on the other... Oh, wow, so in the OG game, you went into those double doors. But now they're rusted shut in this game. So you use it on this one, don't you? Yeah, you do. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna equip the gun. I think Wesker infects himself with the T-Virus after he gets stabbed. I I mean, I don't know the specifics. I've always known it is that Birkin gave him the virus, but I mean, I, I'm i fully up for being wrong. That's just how I've always known it. Yeah, that noise. I don't like the fact that I can't see him. That's one. So they changed this room around as well. Remember this used to be a multitude of rooms. This rest of shed won't budge. This used to be a lot of rooms. And they overhauled these guys too. You remember in the original game they were kind of hard to see what they were? Well, now we can actually see what they are. Got another grenade. I did not know that they can actually come in here. Dude. Transmitting passcode. <laughs> Get deleted. A race. Okay, but we don't want to... There's another room we want to go into. I think. Right? It is... This one. Is it? Ah, yes, because this has the shotgun shells that we'll, we'll never use. Ah, yes! Uh, hold up. Oh, I see. Is 
And then that's it. We get out of here. So they changed this room up a little bit. It was the same idea, but they added more rooms for you to be able to go through. And then the morgue. And now we're done. Everything you walk through... Every time you walk through a door, I expect the zombie to jump you. <laughs> no, now we have the flea, the like the flea babies. These things are nasty. Like if you if you go look at the way they're 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 born, they're nasty. They force women to give birth to these things. It's disgusting. There we got more shotgun shells. Okay. Like, we're chilling at this point. Like, we're cruising. We got so many, like, 50, 49, 40, 49. Shotgun shells? That's a crap ton. I don't think there's a note in here, is there? Chain, uh, chairs and supplies scattered around the walls have claws covered with dozens of claw marks. Oh, uh, you know what? You probably know what happened in here. Someone turned into a crimson head. Probably in here. That sucks. I forget how good the save room tracks are. I know, they're so good. They're so good. They do such a good job. Where's the next one? Hey, Lieutenant Fatsub, good morning. I feel like this is a waste. It appears to be the control switch. There doesn't seem to be getting any power. Oh God, no. Did his head explode? Uh, his head better have exploded. If his head didn't explode, we're in trouble. I wonder if these guys just spawn indefinite in here. Eh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Transmitting the power code seems to have unlocked something. Something in here too? There is. It's a self def yeah, self-defense weapon. Uh, let's see. I made the mistake of trying to get the knife only trophy with no save trophy for this game, not knowing the tyrant had an instant kill move. Ouch. Oh, wow, he still hit me. Warning fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Warning. Refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There is an empty capsule. Cool. Okay. I think they're ticks. They can survive a short time without their heads. Ugh. Got yeah, 23 Magnum bullets. Oh, he's dead. Okay, good, good, good. He's dead. He's fine. All right. Now this is the part of the game that gets everybody, uh... Everybody has mocha ass over. 
So they changed the refueling process of the remake drastically. Drastically. So now, oh no, 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 no. Can I open up the doors? First and foremost, let's go see if we can open up the doors. Because I, I forgot to do this in the original. Over here. Can we open it? It's locked. Oh. The lever release. Levers for releasing the door locks. Why don't they all just come down at the same time? Oh, nice. Okay. I forget. I kept forgetting to go talk to Jill before the self destruct mechanism in OG. I wanted to do it, but I kept forgetting. Didn't forget this time. Chris? Jill. Chris? Wesker's the. I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> it's short, it's so short, but hey, it's nice. I know. So I wonder if you never read any of the notes, does he actually know? Cause like one of the, one of the, uh, like one of the notes literally tells you it's him. So if you never read the note, I wonder if it, that dialogue changes. I doubt it, but that'd be cool if it did. Okay. So this doesn't exist in the OG. There seems to be something behind this thir this sturdy door. Open it. It looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place? Yeah. I, I totally forgot about the, uh, this part and and felt like an ass when I was on the chopper in my first playthrough. <laughs> the main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro... Appears to be nitro compound. Running will cause... Running could result in fatal explosion. This is our life. This is, this is our life now. Let's just have a nice relaxing walk. No enemies. No nothing. Nothing's gonna touch us because we killed everything. Just a nice relaxing stroll. No one's gonna blow up here. No bullets are gonna get fired. Nothing. Nothing. A-okay. I don't know about this room, though. I think they despawn. Okay. A fuel, a fuel supplying device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Set the capsule into place. Get the hell out of here. The thing I hate the most about getting the platinum for this game was I had to let the guy at the start die from snake poisoning for the trophy. Oh, Richard? You let Richard die for a trophy? Do you have no humanity at all? How did you let... Why would you let Richard die? Huh?
Where is your moral compass? The lab self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. There is no power to the main elevator. Press there. All right. We got power. Is there any items in here? Nope. Go. I'd killed Richard just to feel... Oh my god, Brandon. What did Richard ever... Oh god. What did Richard ever do to you? You let him die twice for two trophies? You're a monster. A monster. Both of you. All right, let's go. We got 22 Magnum bullets. The elevator is not where... Oh, right, you got to turn the power on. It appears to be the controller panel for the elevator. Trophy hunting takes no prisoners? Apparently! The elevator is working. Chris! Oh, it's Rebecca! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Monsters, both of you. Oh, if you don't, like... It's so easy to miss this, but there's shotgun shells right here. Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of STARS. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! <gasps> you... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Rebecca, it's dead! Yo, good morning, Sam. Happy Wednesday. You get your beauty rest? I can't believe Rebecca's dead! Ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Tossed aside like garbage. Come on, you test tube Too freak. freak. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! One. Oh, 
Oh no, he's right next to Rebecca. He's on Rebecca's dead body. No. No. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation notes. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the pro the Promeo Jenner. I think it's I think that's a typo. The prototype parasite which we had delivered from the laboratory in France was administrated to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubated in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubation state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evol evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Uh, through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the, the future for BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. So this is this was not in the original game at all. So this is obviously something that's after Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica. So we get it we get Alexia, the acknowledgement of Alexia, who's a Code Veronica character. But then the ink they, they don't say who the subject is, but the subject's Lisa. So Lisa is the uh the person that's incubating the G virus. She she also has like one of the she has one of the big G virus eyeballs on her back. What a pathetic way to die. <laughs> She's Rebecca. not dead! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. You know what? Okay. So was Enrico. What happened to that? Enrico was wearing his bulletproof vest. Where did where did that thing go? It got shredded like paper. Hey, let's not talk about that though. I mean, capsules containing a number of creatures too hideous to describe. Who could possibly be capable of creating such monstrosities? <laughs> so this doesn't exist in the OG like this cutoff. It doesn't exist. A panel to release the emergency electronic lock. Okay. Electronic lock has been released. Uh, wasn't Wesker a prototype? No, Wesker is one of the... He's one of the Wesker children. So, this doesn't really go anywhere. It only... We only actually see part two of it. Well, we only see... We, we actually... We only actually see part one in Resident Evil 5. And we don't even see part two until Resident Evil Revelations. And then it doesn't even go anywhere. But apparently, like, I think, like, either the TV show or the movie is supposed to be about the Wesker children or something like that. But it, it's like one of those plot devices that just doesn't go anywhere. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, no, like, him getting stabbed right there is part of the plan. Him getting stabbed is all part of the plan. He becomes Neo now. They expand on, they actually expand on it in Umbrella Chronicles. That's one of the reasons why we play Umbrella Chronicles, because they actually show Wesker coming back to life. And you and you play it actually. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show <laughs> must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Wait, but how did you find the self-destruct mechanism if I was going to the elevator and you came around the corner and you didn't have time to go the other way to find the self-destruct mechanism? But we're, I'm not gonna talk about that. 
Let's just not have, let's just have that not make sense. Okay. So, just to give us a roll call, we are getting towards the end of the game. We have a whopping, a whopping 55 shotgun bullets, 146 handgun bullets, 17 magnum bullets. He's <laughs> so. So many first aid sprints. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear from anyone ever again that this game does not give you enough resources to properly beat it. Ever. How did how did you stop her from dying? Uh I didn't stop her from dying. Chris just resuscitated her off screen. We didn't get to see it though. The system has been mm. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Deactivating and releasing all locks. Grin. At least that's better than Gachi. And I know you were gonna to, I knew you were gonna hold it in. Good morning, Soka. How you doing? I mean, I'm sorry, Sana. How you doing? You doing all right? Happy Wednesday. Let's go save Jill. Mm. Nah, seriously, if you want a, you want a good tip, literally kill almost everything you come across. Like, maybe not zombies. Maybe, maybe not zombies, but just. And once it gets the hunters, literally just kill them. There's no point. Uh, there's no point not to. You get so much ammo in this game that you can kill everything and be fine. Like those guys right there, I could have killed them, and been totally fine if I really wanted to. It's like this in Resident Evil One, Two, and Three. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Mm. Let's get out of here. Mm. You're doing fine? Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear you're doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty okay. Thanks for asking. Mm. Even regular zombies. Is the regular zombies are the ones you want to be kind of watch out for because you don't want them to turn into crimson heads. But once you get like once you get Richard's shotgun, I say Richard's shotgun has a higher chance of exploding their heads. So let's get going. I would definitely give it a shot to explode their heads, but I mean, you do get a crap ton of kerosene too. You get a lot of kerosene. Yeah, I think you get like 15 drops of kerosene, so you can actually kill 15 zombies and they won't come back. But there's also some enemies that don't come back and are better ignored than actually killed. Some of them. So, fun fact, there's three zombies in this hallway. If you don't kill them, they turn into crimson heads. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he got shot in the heart. Right. Enrico got shot in the heart, too. Right through the bulletproof vest he's wearing. I wonder if 17 bullets is enough, though. Okay, I, I'm gonna save here just in case because I'm not sure if 17 bullets is enough because old dude takes an OG game, it takes like four magnum shots and he's done. In remake, he takes a shit ton. They 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 change that. He takes a lot. I'm not sure if 17 is actually enough. Mm. Well, yeah, you just got to play it smart around the zombies because uh, like for instance in the OG RE1 You could literally kill every creature you came across a okay. There's no it's not a bad strategy. Just kill everything um, 
You get so much ammo, it's fine. In this game, you gotta worry about the crimson heads sometimes, but if you can decapitate a, a, a zombie, that's fine, do it. Like, their, their first shotgun, it's decapitation chance is a little bit less. I can't pick these up. This is our last chance. And that doubles down for OG RE2. OG RE2, oh my goodness. It's disgusting how much ammo they give you in that game. But they also put more enemies on screen too. Detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. <laughs> I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. She didn't do. No, no, it's those monsters. That line in Resident Evil One OG is great. Monsters. From Rebecca. Enrico was wearing the duty-free bulletproof vest. I wish we could learn like how Enrico got through the tunnels and everything. I'd like to see it. I like I mean he travels very far. All by himself, too. Like he has no help from anyone else. He's like one of the most capable stars members. Hey. Chris. You okay? Yeah. Ah oh, shit. Uh, Jill. Jill just got decapitated. So good. Oh god, the reload. Oh fuck! Nice try. I got four shots. Oh. Chris, use it! Kill it! Whatever it is! Whatever it is! Oh god, in this game you gotta kneel down to pick it up too, and OG that doesn't exist. Just start running. Yep. He can't block it from behind, I don't think. Hey, all right. That's pretty flawless. Hey. I was worried about nothing. Damn, so we went in with 17 and we leave with three. Well, four, really, because I wasted one. Damn, that's so many. You need 13 shots from the Magnum. Yo, thanks for the GG's. Wait for it. Richard, Forrest, Cannon. Now nah, Jill live. It just looks like she, I mean, she literally takes a claw to the face from a tyrant, man. That guy impaled Wesker. She should be dead. Like, realistically, she should be dead. Or in the, in the universe of this, she would die. There's no way she would have survived that hit. But, you know, plot armor's real. Oh, Barry. Yeah, she recovered from that slap so fast. 
That was a claw, like a claw to the throat. That blood splatter came out at the throat. She would have been dead. Uh, what's a good game to start with? Um, I mean, storyline wise, Resident Evil Zero is the start, but I don't recommend you play that game first. Not at all. In fact, I, in fact, for your first time playing through the series, I also don't recommend playing Resident Evil Zero first because they explore stuff that you shouldn't know about. So honestly, Resident Evil One Remake is a good is is probably the best place to start. Resident Evil One Remake. It's it has the old controls and it has new controls. I I've never used the new controls, so I can't speak on them. I have no idea how they play, but I've seen like speedrunners use them, and uh, it, I've seen that it makes dodging zombies a hell of a lot more easier than using tank controls, but. I've never used it, actually, because I'm a purist. Um, other than that, if you want if you want one that's more... more easier on the movement, Resident Evil 2 Remake is pretty good on the movement. And so is... I mean, 7 as well. The 7's pretty contained. So you could technically start there. Not No other game in the series plays like 7 at all. So, and it's pretty self-contained from nice. the other storylines. Fine job. So, you'll be like, you'd be pretty fine with either seven remake of two or uh, this one. You, I think those are probably the three best ones to start. Hmm. I was going to say four, but I've seen more and more people over the years say four movements is pretty dated. Even though it's just this. Now play with features from the prototype version. Real survivor modes unlock. Item boxes no longer connect, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Although the manual aiming was in the original, the original Resident Evil. It just wasn't the boxes. They didn't have auto aim in the OG game. Chris has a new costume. A new costume has been unlocked. You can change into the dressing room. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, that was Chris's run. That was pretty clean. We didn't, well, we died once because I died to, what did I die to? What did I die to? Uh, I died to the, the Crimson Head boss. That's what I died to. But, uh, yeah, we did pretty okay. I still haven't gotten all of... What is all this? Oh, these are the endings. Right. It was pretty alright. I started with Remake 2 and I thought that was a good place to start for newcomers. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Resident Evil 2 Remake is a good place to start. It has really good movement. Um... Although, it, the only problem with that is that it could potentially have the Dark Souls 3 effect. Where, if you play with Dark Souls 3 first, you do get a good understanding of the fundamentals. And it's more for Dark Souls as well, like this analogy. But going backwards is kind of hard because, you know, they become slower. And you become accustomed to, like, the fast-pacedness of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. I've seen people complain about Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2 because of how slow they are in comparison to Dark Souls 3. So in that way, sometimes starting with that one's not the best. So I, I don't know if that's the same with like Resident Evil 2, you know, but can't go wrong with this one, RE2 and RE7. Uh, Kangaroo, hopefully that helps you. But yeah, we finished Chris's run on the hardest difficulty. It was pretty, we killed less than 100 enemies too. We had so much stuff to spare. Like, it was a pretty smooth run.